All right, everybody. Welcome to Generation Spacing after a little hiatus, but we're back this week. A lot of uh, actual yeah. gaming stuff to talk about today, but you yeah, know, here. weird, right? We actually have gaming news. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Finally. Uh, but uh, of course, it is myself. Mr. Abonic Plague and Tubeware, how's everybody going out there? I haven't even streamed on this channel in like, gosh, a week and a half or something like that. So this is my first stream in a long time. So lazy James. God, you know, I mean, honestly, it's just my brain, man, my brain, and I this insomnia right now is killing me at this point. So it's crazy. I like I literally just woke up from a nap because I I'm tired during the day. Like I feel like. I should just start streaming in the middle of the night because this is like, that's like my schedule now. Like, I mean, why not? Yeah, I know, man. Just embrace it. Just start streaming in the middle of the night. Stream for the Europe crowd or something like that. So. Yeah, that might actually be the best idea. Yeah. And you know what? I bet you a lot of people with their own insomnia would probably just come and hang out and stuff. So. And so, yeah, I mean, night zones, all that shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have. Uh, I've done that myself. Streaming at four or five in the morning. Oh, yeah? Just cause, yeah. Dang, okay. I've never tried that before. I hope to one day achieve that level of power. <laughs> hmm, all right. That's something I'll have to consider <laughs> then. I'll have to think about trying to do something like that. i have to see if I can wield such power with responsibility here. <laughs> yeah, speaking of responsibility, check out that Miles Morales trailer for the PS5. Boom! Uh, oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I, oh, was, yeah. I was immediately sold. That was it. <laughs> and also did you guys notice there was a few games including spider-man that said they released holiday 2020 yeah yeah uh -huh. that means playstation is this year yeah i know it's crazy Which is dude fucking, i was i was totally expecting at the end of the stream because i showed i think three games that said holiday 2020 yeah i was expecting them to be like playstation available next Whoops. week or some ah. crazy shit yeah <laughs> Yeah, uh, the only other thing that could be happening... Ooh, I saw that, James. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only other thing that could be happening uh, is if it wasn't this year for some reason, right, um, it could be that those are games that are also on PS4. And that's yeah. Why. Oh, and right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could think of if for some reason... I could believe that for Spider-Man, but the other, that one, like, beat 'em up God of War type game, that was, that was, like, one of the original PS5 exclusive launch titles. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 there was a couple of different games that, uh, specifically said, um, uh, built, built for PS5. Um, right, like yeah. The, the, the project, whatever it's called, Project Athena, Project Yeah, Athena. that was, that was a tech demo, wasn't it? Uh, I could have swore was... that was a tech demo, like, a while ago, that and was, now they that, just showed a trailer. It wasn't a while ago. It was only a few weeks ago. Uh, it was pretty okay. recent. Um, which yeah, one? No, I'm which one? Sure that was the same tech demo, but yeah, it was that's what it looked like. like. Fleshed out. That's what I thought it was anyway. Which I game? It was like okay, so they took the tech demo and it's actually like a game. Yeah, what? it's a real game. Which game was this one that you're talking about? Uh, I, I'm really Project sure Thea or Athia or something. Oh yeah, like Project yeah, yeah. Athia or something like that. That's yeah. right. What did it look like? It's a working title, right? They don't have like. A right, right. What did it look like again? It uh, looked you... like that tech demo um when they originally were talking about the ps5's like uh -huh. graphical capability and whatnot oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah that's right a lot yeah. of us were thinking like oh yeah it's just the same it's it's that but like this is like the game like the actual game and it's right yeah yeah. Uh, 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 yeah i mean it's crazy because like i don't know like i'm I, every time they announce these things and they show these new games and these press conferences year after year at E3 or whatever like that, I always feel like such an old man afterwards because, like, seriously, like, these things don't actually feel like they impress me that much anymore, you know? That's because we're old and we got to see jumps from NES to SNES. Right. To 64 PlayStation era to the PS2. Like, all those were big jumps, right? Right. Yeah. Now graphics aren't going to be the big jump anymore. It's going to be things like load times going away again. It's going to be connectivity, user interface, things like that is right. going to be the, the selling point. On screen, you know, like exactly, many, yeah, exactly. How many load screens your game actually needs or not? How many yeah. triangles? <laughs> yeah, exactly. there, bro, there were so many triangles in this. Series. So many triangles. <laughs> did, you, did you see how many shapes in, in, this, in that in that fucking live stream, bro? There, yeah. There's a shape after every game. Jesus. Every every time every time they showed all four of the the buttons, I was just like, wow, I can't believe they just confirmed PS5. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like wow. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Like it's it's weird because. 
you know, uh, I look at all the games and I don't know, for me, I guess for me, what I expect out of games these days is like, I need, like when you see a game, you, it used to be that you would, there would be like a hook or like a gimmick to the game. You know, you'd see it like even on the nest days, right? It's like, oh, look, Bionic Commando, you don't jump, you swing around on a claw instead, you know, and then, you know, this game is about gravity. You go up and down, you can have gravity in both directions and stuff like there was always like a like some sort of like gimmick or hook and it's funny because like the last game I can remember that I saw at E3 that made me feel that way was like 15 fucking years ago dude I, I can't even believe it's been that long but like when Katamari Damashi like first showed up I was like what the hell this looks amazing you know yeah. kind of thing and then oh cat finally left uh, so I, I feel like games still do the hook thing specifically. It's just it's harder for you to notice because there's they're all built around the same thing that all other games do at the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> so like so like the hook for um, I let's let me let me try to like Ratchet it. and Clank, right? Is the is the well, jumping? Yeah, Ratchet and Clank. The, the the hook the hook for that game right now is uh, for for the newest version of Ratchet and Clank is going to be the the the, the breaking of the dimensions. Of the, uh, uh, dimension. Yeah, enter the Ratchet and Clank verse. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> which which is technically something they did in a previous Ratchet and Clank game. It's not the exact same thing, but they 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 basically just made it its own for this. I'm right. by the way, Ratchet and Clank is one of my favorite game series. Oh and, really? Like, yeah. yeah so oh like I was, okay, okay. I, I'm pretty happy about that existing, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, I I lost it too, not because I like it, but because my lady friend really oh. loves Ratchet and Clank. Like oh, that's her jam, and like not even. Two weeks ago, we were talking about how the RNC movie flopped and like the franchise died and all that shit. And we we're both kind of like, I was like, well, maybe you'll get one one day. I got Marvel three, and I didn't think that would ever happen. So, so the movie, the movie sucked and and flopped, but the game itself was actually great and did well enough. Right. Yeah. The original games. Right. So no, 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 no the reboot. Oh, there was a reboot. I didn't even know yeah, about the reboot. The, there, was, there was there was a movie, the game, the game, the movie, the game. Oh, so, so, okay. so, so the reboot was was is this is the sequel to the reboot? I'm assuming because of um, the way Ratchet looks. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 less gruff, I guess. But, did uh, they did they give the the female Ratchet a name yet? Because she's gonna no. get called Ratchet. She's for uh, sure. Uh, uh, she, she currently is uh, is un, an unknown entity right now. That's, right? She's the, gonna be Ratchet. That's what everyone's gonna call her till the end of time. Right. The, the people who uh, who who made the character have already like uh, specifically talked about her on Twitter too. So we know for sure that they're not telling her uh, telling us her name yet because they wouldn't even mention it in the tweets. Interesting. Uh, but funny enough, the tweets were specifically, uh, and I quote, um, "We knew people would make porn of this." And kept going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was about to say, because there's going to be so much fan art. Uh, <laughs> fan art, yeah. That's what we'll fan call it. art of I this mean, character. Technically, it's still fan art, right? It is. Like, I mean, sure. Right. It's In the same way that Skinamax is, you know, quality you know, film, I guess. The same way that, you know, fan service is, you know, service for fans, you know, fan exactly. art. <laughs> People are going to be servicing themselves to those pictures, I'll tell you that. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, it's just, that's just, that's where we're at with Ranch and Clank right now. Yeah. I mean, every, like, there were so many themes, like, between a lot of the games besides so many triangles, right? Uh, you know, the, um, what was it? The, the, the people keep joking that, you know, this is the year for furries on. <laughs> Dude, I, I, so when they showed Little Big Planet, he had the, the mascot uh, uh, costume on. Yeah, yeah, In all yeah, my yeah. group chats, the first thing I said is Sonic Fox Rises. <laughs> and then and then fucking Sonic Fox tweeted, holy shit, a furry game. I was right. like, I knew it. I knew it. Was uh, I the only person who, who watched the start of that a trailer and immediately said it's Little Big Planet? I, 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 I legitimately thought it was a furry game. I... I, I was just like, oh, it's it's clearly Little Big Planet. It's the same fucking art style. Even seeing the, the like, like it, them as, like, in... He was like a tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, Whatever. Yeah, he looked was, like the Mad Cats. I was just like, oh, hey, it's Little Big Planet. Like, that's that's, that's the first thing I thought. I that's think interesting. It was a furry game or anything. I was just like, yeah, it's Little Big Planet. Dang. So I was all in on furry game. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's fair. I just, I just thought more people could tell, I guess. Right. I don't know. 
Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I I didn't suspect it right away, but then again, it's I bought the first Little Big Planet, and sadly enough, I was really kind of disappointed in the game, so I, yeah. I never got any of the other ones, even though I well, Little Big Planet is like all about building your own game. Yeah, it's not necessarily like the base game is sure, but you're supposed to download all the user created right shit. but i mean like i just didn't feel like it had enough creativity like it didn't have like being able to jump on ledges or wall jumps or anything like that yeah, like, uh, yeah they added that in the sequel yeah, yeah exactly games, like obviously expanded upon it and and had a bunch of quality of life uh-huh. changes and stuff that people wanted but then, like, so, if, every if time... If you would like to play future iterations, you should. Like, I don't know, like, if you guys have played Mario Maker at all or anything like that, but usually yeah. once people, like, start getting in their hands on the games, like, the stuff that they come up with is just, like, so beyond the scope of what, like, the, the, the like you feel like you're supposed to do, yeah. you know? Like, Little Big Planet when that first came out, I just saw people building calculators and stuff. Right. <laughs> you know? It was crazy. Yeah, um, that's that's eventually why they made uh, the game called I think it's called Dreams. Uh huh. Um, is because of like well, that's that's the type of game that they wanted Little Big Planet to be was to, mm. that you could literally do whatever the fuck you wanted. Interesting. And that's okay. what Dreams ended up being was just, like like people people have like remade like Sonic the Hedgehog levels and shit. And <laughs> oh it, shit. Because, okay. Yeah, you can just you can just make whatever the hell you want, right? So like um, that's that's what that that game eventually gotcha. ended up being, and I believe that's from the original creators of Little Big Planet. I okay, could be wrong. Okay. I've never even heard of this game until right now. Yeah, it's wild. Well, okay, well. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, so, I mean, the, it's interesting because the new Little Big Planet game doesn't feel like it's kind of the same. I don't know. They didn't show any it's level. Not the same. It's, yeah, it's, it looked like a platform. Well, that's there, there's a reason for that. Like, you, you see the title, right? It's not uh, called Little Big Planet. It was called right, Sackboy Adventures. Right. That's true, yeah. It's, so, di- it's a different game. It's, um, it's a platformer with their mascot, you know, with the one of yeah, their new mascots. And the, the same ability to create characters because that's what they showed off when they showed the other three characters. Yeah, yeah. It was like, hey, you can still customize shit, but like mm-hmm. Sackboy is like the, the focus, I yeah. guess. Or at least that's what I took from that trailer. Right. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe those three characters are just straight ass predetermined, right? Like, <laughs> they better not be. It would be disappointing if they were, so. But well, it, it feels like it feels like you can because again, Sackboy was in the tiger costume at the very beginning. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Afterwards. Right? Yeah, I'm like, sure you can customize. But see, yeah, if you can be at least some level of creativity. But see, here's the thing, right? I mean, obviously, there's four players. It looks like you can play online with a bunch of your friends and everything. Is this going to use rollback netcode or delay based netcode? Because I swear, if it's delay, then it's going to no, use FPS netcode. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I need to I need to expose some people right now. Oh, is this the so tech end thing? Keats, so Keats oh, okay, okay. is one of the biggest yeah. proponents of rollback netcode, right? Right. Okay. Recently he and I and some of our other friends in our group chat <clears throat> have started playing speedrunners just to dick around. Uh-huh. Speedrunners uses delay based netcode. So when they started playing that, I was like, you guys gave me so much shit for saying that I prefer rollback, but delay base can be tolerable in certain situations. And the fact that you're playing speedrunners now <laughs> makes you the biggest hypocrite in the world because Keats like refuses to play a lot of fighting games that don't have rollback. Right. I mean, so I'm like, you know what? I, I understand it's not a fighting game, but come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that's where people like uh, forget what's going on. Is like a fighting game requires much more like. One sixtieth uh, precise set of things, yeah. right? So like, it, roll but back, so does speedrunners. Speedrunners is all about reactions. I've never played the game. I don't even I, know I, what I, it is. Actually, you mentioning I it, I know what it is, but I've never played it. All right. All right so the the premise of the game is it's it's one v one v one v one. Uh huh. Uh, it's a racing game. You're on foot, so you're speed running. There's obstacles in the way, and as the game goes on, the screen shrinks. If a player leaves the screen, they die, and they lose the round. <laughs> I see, I so see. So the longer the game goes, the tinier the screen gets. Right. So it becomes pure reactions towards the end. That's so funny. So you, you like, delay-based netcode is not good for that game, but he's still just absolutely loving it. I'm like, come on, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it, it can be good, but the problem is it's, it's hard to make it good for those types of games, I feel like. It, it is, and, and to be fair, the, the netcode in Speedrunners is not perfect. Right. But But my whole thing was that, I'm not going to not buy a fighting game just because it doesn't have the netcode I prefer. Right. Like, if I want to play some shit, I'm just going to play it. You know, and like, honestly, I, I play to play offline anyways. So I am a proponent of rollback netcode. 
it was just funny to me that <laughs> when it wasn't a fighting game or well, it wasn't when it was convenient for Adam, he was like, yeah, yeah, I can deal with it. <laughs> hey, well, look, I feel like, you know, we spend a lot of time calling people out on this stream every once in a while. Do you have anything yeah. to say to Kyle P right now, Isaiah? Or <laughs> uh, If Kyle P changed his name to Harada, uh, I do have something to say to Harada. Ooh. Oh, dang. Yes. Okay. Let him have okay. It. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. The game doesn't have rollback? What are you talking it about? Does not. So, one <laughs> of two been, things. It's literally been tested. <laughs> it doesn't have rollback. Uh... One of two things happened there. Either A, Harada has no fucking clue what rollback netcode is, or B, he's lying on purpose for a reason. Right. I That's think it's joke. A. I think it's yeah, A. I, I don't think know. It's I a. think it's A. I think he doesn't know because why the fuck would he? He doesn't sign his job anymore. Right. He's a figurehead. Or... Yeah, no, I, I definitely think he, he doesn't understand. Like, at all. Yeah. Cause, and, and another... Uh, okay, so it was um, the Tekken World Tour Finals number two. The one where Noctis got announced. Yes, okay, right? okay. They, they went on stage and they talked about the uh, the frame delay, the, the natural yeah, frame delay, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And they said that they had already released a patch um, back in whatever month uh, that reduced it by two frames, and no one said anything or no one noticed. Um, and then the the very next 20 minutes, someone tested the previous patch. <laughs> and this patch, and then the patch after, and they said... Nothing changed, <laughs> and they just straight up fucking lied to their our faces. Right? Yep. Right. But again, that about right. but again, you know, it might not even just necessarily be a lie. But I mean, maybe someone lied to him, you know, or maybe someone's just telling him things that aren't. I, true. I just, I just really, I don't think he knows. And yeah. Like, I, I made a point in our in our the same group chat that. I bet you Ed Boon had no fucking clue what rollback netcode was either until people were like, hey, Mortal Kombat sucks online, fix it. Right. Yeah, maybe. Like, why Why would Ed Boon know what rollback... He never made online games before. He made fucking mm-hmm. video motion Dude, capture Mortal even, Kombat. Even you know, then, like, even then, like, you know? there were stories that even, like, you know, over 10 years ago... I mean, this was a long time ago, but, you know, back when Mortal Kombat was languishing in the shitty era and stuff like that. Oh, man, like, I remember those days. You know, but, like, I've heard stories that, like, Ed Ed didn't even know what, like, block stun was and things like that. Yeah, I, I definitely heard some of those stories yeah. as well. I don't know how true they are, but I definitely heard some of that stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, that's just the thing, though, is, you know, that's not necessarily their job or their role, but the weird thing about it is social media is turning it into their job and their role because yeah. now that they're the, the head... Because before it was like, oh, we all know Ed Boone works on Mortal Kombat and everything like that, but we didn't have a means by which we could talk to him and respond to him or do right. anything. He was just some nebulous figure out in space, you know, kind of thing. But now we're talking to everybody, and, and, and you know, so it's weird that the producers do have to get this kind of level of knowledge now that they never had yeah. to have before. I think, I think a lot of people forget that there's, like, possibly hundreds of other people that work on these games too Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. do that thing and so the person they're talking to doesn't actually know anything about whatever that thing might be (laughs) but they have to say something otherwise people fucking explode right like yeah either uh, that i i guess i'll go ahead james i was about to say maybe even the workers are like he won't know yeah we uh (laughs) remove that you know, yeah, kind I of mean, thing. dude, fucking like uh, the way I, I think about that is like I treat that like commentary. If I don't know for sure, I wouldn't answer. Right. But Harada like was like three frame delay, rollback netcode, yep. and then Dan Fornis, who worked on Killer Instinct season one, mm-hmm. Killer Instinct season two, and created Rivals of Aether. This dude is a rollback expert. Mm-hmm. Asked Harada, so three frames, and Harada was like, "Yeah, dumbass, didn't you read my tweet?" Like, dude, you, you oh, just, you just was, come on. Okay. That was come him, on, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah. Like, clearly, Harada had no idea who he was, but, like, d- come on, man. <laughs> Zynak also apparently um, checked at some point, and, uh, and, and, and that's, that's how I found out that Harada was lying about it, was because Zynak straight up said, no, it's been tested. You don't have right, rollback. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 like, okay, I and well. I believe Zynak for sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zynak said it. Okay, well, you know, cool. <laughs> like that's that's all I need to hear, really. I mean, in my eyes, Zynak is the the pure reason that 
Guilty Gear Strive is going to have rollback. Oh, yeah. yeah, of totally course. Yeah, well, didn't I mean, they hire him for it specifically? No, 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 no. Yeah. They hired him. No. He, he's been working he, there for a long time. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. really? But he's oh. been he's been bugging his higher ups about it also for a long time. Oh, interesting. He's been very vocal about it. Okay, well, that's yeah. good. That's good. He's, he's definitely worked on a couple of the games that are currently out. Is the easiest way to put that yeah okay, that's good so. to know that's good to know good well yeah that that is definitely one of the reasons why that game has is gonna it, it, that they're willing to do it because they have someone probably yelling at them the entire time going like put it in put it in and then the, pr- the problem is it takes so long yeah like, it's a lot you, of work you, you can yell at them every single day and it won't do mm-hmm. anything until they're just like tired of you yelling at them every single day i, I mean it, it helps when all the fans on twitter are yelling at you for it too yeah yeah that's true and it, true. and even at like all those surveys that they took right every single yeah the O's definitely helped as well yeah so that's good good stuff to good stuff to the community i mean that's why honestly i thought it was such a big announcement because you know normally you know, you don't get that kind of reaction to fans yelling about, you know, these things, especially from a Japanese company. And then they actually decided to do it. That's why, like, I remember when it happened, I was just like, this is like history in the making. (laughs) I remember when it happened. I tweeted that it was coming that night. Yeah, I remember. I had no leaks. I had no leaks, by the way. I just, I knew. I knew it in my heart. (laughs) Yeah, that's what that's what Olaf said. He was like, you know that there's not going to be a Street Fighter Six announcement because if there was, we'd have already known by now. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's especially true. with Capcom, dude. Yeah. I knew about Marvel Infinite two or three months. Like, I knew for sure Marvel Infinite was a real thing. Like two or three months before it came out, and I heard like probably six months before, or not before it came, before it was announced. Probably like six months before it was announced. Jesus. I got strong, strong words that this was coming. Yeah, I, I heard from a certain person uh, that may or may not have uh, been involved in it uh, in a at a tournament uh, that there was going to be a new Marvel game as well. Uh, so yeah, you mean before Infinite or or uh, we, before Infinite was announced? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, See, and no. this was I think before the tagline was decided. Actually. Uh, okay. At, it was either it was before the tagline was decided or they didn't want to tell me. See, this is the crazy thing is like everybody is always like, James, you probably heard some stuff. You know this stuff. You know, what's the dirt on this and blah, blah, blah. Dude, I don't think I knew about Marvel versus Capcom Infinite like at all until like right beforehand. You know? this, was, this was one of those things where I found out because I just happened to be in a hotel room at a particular time. Oh, right. Yeah, I was okay, actually okay. just about to say, James, I can tell you why right now is because when you go to tournaments... You show up for your commentary set, uh-huh. you eat your food, and then you go back to your room. Yep. Uh huh. If you were social as fuck, you would you would learn these things. That's too. probably true. That's probably true. Cause yeah, I, I mean honestly, it's funny because like, you know, I I had just I, what was it? I said on stream a while ago like for a combo breaker like i've never been in the in the 24 hour gaming area at combo breaker like i've never been there. Well, after. yes, you have. Did you, you have, actually? Yes, yes, you have. Room. It's the main the, 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 the uh, all the pheasant run was 24 hours. Oh no no, I know, I know. What I mean is like <laughs> what I mean is like I've never been down there playing during that time. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. During the time that there's no tournament running, you know. Once gotcha. the tournaments are done, I go to my room and that's it and then I'm I'm gone, you know, from that point. I mean, I was able to drag you out for the fart milk. Yeah, game. like two or three fart. years Two or three years in a row, you you are the one, you're the one who's always managed to get me out there. So, got to bring together the homies, man. Yeah. The the one time I I really utilized twenty four hour uh, venue like to play was at Combo Breaker actually, despite having been at other uh, other tournaments that do twenty four hour venue, and that was because I really really wanted to get ready for my Dragon Ball pool. Oh, uh, okay, okay. But like that that was like the one time I've ever done it, despite <laughs> the fact that like I've been it. Like the the other times, I'll go down there or whatever, and I'll socialize with people. But that's like social. I won't even. I, I won't even bring my stick half the time. Mm. Like, yeah. See, I don't even go down and I don't even go down and socialize. But yeah, I mean, that's a hundred percent probably why I never end up hearing about any of these crazy things. So. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, you're you're super popular, so people just tell you shit because you're you. <laughs> but if you don't if you don't show up, if you're not there for the conversation, right. they can't. Also, tell you. another thing too is I'm kind of a terrible liar as well, and a lot of the times I almost kind of don't want to know things 
things because then otherwise people would be like, you know something, right? And I'd be like, no. And then everybody would be like, okay, yeah, you definitely know something. You, you know? gotta, you gotta use that to your advantage. You gotta be like, you gotta, you gotta keep doing that. So that people <laughs> like don't know whether or not right. you're being cheeky or you actually know something. Cry wolf, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Everything, right? You have to have the yeah. exact same reaction at all times. That's true. Oh man, that's a good idea. I did. I did get got by David one time. What do you mean? Ooh. I thought by David at CEO when they announced. I think it was either a Buki or Balrog for Street Fighter Five. It was one of the two. Uh-huh. But I, I thought it was the other one that was going to get oh, announced. Oh, okay, okay. But he had already seen the trailer. He already fucking knew. Oh, okay. So he was okay. like, "I bet you it's not that character." And I was like, "Fine, I'll take that bet." And then after he revealed, he's like, "You know what? I already saw the trailer. I'm not going to take your money." <laughs> <laughs> But you asshole. David. Oh, God, David. That's funny. Ugh. Ugh. But, yeah. Ugh. But speaking yeah, of, obviously, are, so... Are, uh... Oh, go ahead. No, I was about to say, speaking of Capcom leaks and stuff like that, like, I heard the name of Resident Evil 8, The Village, was actually leaked at some point. Yes. See. Yeah, 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 it was a while back. And they even told us the premise and everything, and it turned out to all be true. So, like, I didn't hear anything about it. So... I didn't either, but I don't care about Resident Evil. Oh, really? I, oh, okay. I heard about it literally the moment it cracked okay. um, only because like i i am an addict when it comes to like news and shit okay. apparently so i i love resident evil i mean i haven't finished seven unfortunately and i haven't even played two or three of the remakes i yet. recommend finishing seven and i absolutely recommend playing two remakes yeah yeah, uh, yeah. I, haven't played, I haven't played three remakes so i can't so I'm now now it. that you know because like i said i haven't been streaming fighting games recently just because i haven't really been in the mood for it as much so i might uh, try to do more one player games so i might try to finish seven and try to do resident evil 2 remake and stuff like that so i'll probably try to do those games but uh i mean it's funny because i saw the umbrella logo halfway through that trailer like it it flashes on the screen very briefly so when i saw it i was like oh is this like how seven they kind of like you know oh it's a new resident evil but doesn't look like resident evil or whatever like that you know kind of thing and then and then it was village and i was like wait did I just get got or something? And then it was like eight, and I was like, oh, okay, pretty slick. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, yeah. yeah. It was they're, a cool trailer. Being cheeky yeah. about it. Yeah, no, the trailer was super no, cool. No, I'm, I'm a um, super fan of, you know, clever logos, and so naming the game Village so they could put the eight in there, I thought was genius. I, I, I love that. So I love that kind of wordplay kind we, of thing. So I never played seven do you ever find out what that character looks like because he's the character in eight now or two right ethan yes, he is also yeah. in eight yeah he's the main so character. no spoilers you know again, like? i haven't finished um, yeah seven. you do you do know what he looks like yeah. um okay. because he has uh pictures uh uh his wife i'm forgetting her name it's okay. not emma is it emma is it mia or something like that mia, uh, thank you yeah, yeah uh thank you uh, there should be at least one picture of those two, yeah. if I remember correctly. It's it's been a while since I completed the game, so I could be forgetting. Yeah. But okay. uh, yeah, yeah. My um. Go ahead. Oh no, no, I was just about to say. My only concern right now is that you know I'm a big, I hate the uh, your old hero is now the bad guy kind of oh, trope. I'm sure that Chris Redfield is not a bad guy. I I think I think I think um the person that Chris shoots is probably one of the werewolves. Or whatever, oh, okay. and like yeah, for sure. Just doesn't know kind of uh, deal. Like yeah. I, I don't know if the person on the ground is supposed to be Emma, the person or it's Mia, right? Because uh, because it, it, it would have a lot more um oomph to to him shooting someone if it was Mia, right? right yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but because uh, if if not, then then it's like it's, it's probably just a werewolf, and he he knew and, and right. Because <laughs> you know, like I, I'm so sick of that trope. Because even like you know long t- like one of the you know, modern, I guess this is probably like 10 years ago, modern Contra games where Lance is now fighting Bill, you know, Bill is the bad guy now. And, you know, I know this is, this movie's like 20 years old, so nobody cares anymore. But like the very first Mission Impossible movie, you know, like spoilers, when you find out the main bad guy is the hero from the TV show and stuff like that. Mm, I was right, like, yeah. I was like, this is stupid. Like, I fucking hate that <laughs> shit, dude. I hate that shit. Like, it's like, oh, look how cool and edgy we are. Oh, look, the good guy's the bad guy. And I'm like, whatever, dude. Like, fuck that. War changes people. Yeah, I know, and I, I hate that shit, dude. Like, 
I mean, it, I, I'm one of those, uh, but see, that's the thing is like, I'm also one of those like, you know, optimists. I always want everything to be all great and everything. That's why I hated the new Star Wars films when they killed everybody, you know? And like, I, I, th those were also just something else in a lot of regards. Yeah. It wasn't even just yeah. Like, yeah. We, honestly, we, we could have an entire podcast about the new Probably. Star Wars movies. Probably. Maybe we should next week. Let's do it next week. Let's just talk about Star Wars, dude. I, I am down. I will <laughs> First, I want to talk about not that one guy uh, subscribing here on Twitch. Oh, TV. dang. Thank like you. Subscribe. Thank you. Appreciate that continued subscription there. Oh, man. But, yeah. So, I mean, Resident Evil 8, I mean, it looks kind of sick. Speaking of Resident Evil 8, but, like, between that, like, the bad guy designs and everything and, like, the, the, the Tokyo game, what was it called? Uh, Ghostwire? It's, yeah. yeah. Ghostwire. To uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, right? Yeah, because that's made by the original Resident Evil guy, Shinji Mikami, right? So. Oh, was that not what was the game that god what i'm thinking of something else never mind don't worry about okay it. <laughs> but yeah the ghostwire game actually looked pretty sick too so i mean that one looks interesting problem is it's first person so that means i probably can't play it or i, I don't think die. i can play it either yeah oh do you get sick? I, I i just won't play it i could oh yeah it just didn't look interesting to me oh, okay okay yeah, I, I'm I'm bad at first person shooters. I get sick. I get sick. Yeah, me too. I get much sick. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna change the subject just because Artemis brought it up here. But obviously, you know, the game of the year looked like Stray. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? They made a game where you're a stray cat. Yeah, but not even just a stray cat. Like, I was watching the trailer. The whole time I was watching it and the cats running around everywhere, I'd be like, see, this game would be cool if you actually use the cat. But there's no way that that's going to happen. And then the game was called Stray, and I was like, oh, shit, you use the cat. <laughs> you are the cat, James. Yeah. You don't just use the cat. Because, I mean, one of the first things that you see is the, the robot in the alley, and in the background on the alley painted on the wall, it says, R.I.P. Humans. And so what I'm thinking is that maybe the human race has been destroyed or they're run, they've run underground and hidden or something like that. And so maybe this game is you just use a cat that happens to be wandering around, but you happen to learn the story of what happened to everybody, you know, as you progress through Probably. it and stuff. And yeah. That See, would be you know, sick. you talked about games that don't have gimmicks. There's your gimmick game. Right. Uh, he's got you there. No, There's no, no. There's your gimmick game. Exactly. Dude. And that's why that's one of the games I'm most excited about <laughs> out of all that's of fair. them. <laughs> yeah. One of the things I was really worried about in that trailer, though, um, before I wasn't entirely sure about the cat, because, like, I saw the cat the whole time, and I was like, that uh -huh. seems like a pretty, like, focal point, but I wasn't right. sure that it was going to be the main character, right? Mm -hmm. One of the things I was really worried about is that they were going to demean the whole rip humans aspect and, like, that it's, you know, it's a robot society by making you play as the last human left. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> like, last I was samurai like, starring Tom Cruise. Like, can we not can we just, like, have it just be about the robots and let the humans die? Like, oh, dang. Okay, so Artemis just put up a, a, a thing from the Steam order. Lost, alone, and separated from family. A stray cat must untangle an ancient mystery to escape a long-forgotten cyber city and find the way home. Interesting. Okay. I'm right, down so with this. That sounds to me like they already demeaned the uh, the, the humans are dead thing. Because <laughs> it sounds to me like you're just gonna you're gonna figure out like, oh yeah, this is just happens to be a city that's so far away from civilization right. that they think humans are completely gone. Yeah, I mean we'll 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 see. I mean I just wanna use a cat. That's all. That's all I wanna do is just run around with a cat. So All right, here I got I got a game for you, James. Okay. You can play a game called Murdered Soul Suspect. <laughs> what? There's about Five total minutes where you uh, you you play as a cat because <laughs> you you um uh, what's what's the word uh, uh, possess you possess the cat and there is a button where you can meow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's that's like that's like untitled Goose Game, dude, where you can just sit around and honk all day, dude. That's like that was like one of my favorite think, things. Maybe that's where they got the idea for Stray. They're like, man, this game came out of nowhere. It's super popular. Let's make our own animal game. <laughs> yeah, Except but... for you're not an asshole. You're just right. A <laughs> that's right, yeah. the thing is that the goose was an asshole, which is so good, dude. Dude, because geese are geese assholes. Are assholes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was just so I mean, fun. Because, but... like, the stuff that I did in that Untitled Goose game, like, was all, like, completely fucked up. But then you would get achievements for, like, half the shit that you would do. And I was like, this is awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs>
I still haven't played it. Dude, I guess I guess you know that's my way my way of letting my inner asshole out, right? So there you that's go. That's right. Yeah, you can't tweet about sucking nuts asshole anymore, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm already sitting here tweeting Sigma Nuts cat butts here, you know, on stream and everything. So I'm already trying to cat butt. I'm telling, dude, you're going to be the number one stray streamer in the world. <laughs> I can't believe you've already won the stray world championship. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, sounds sounds like a goal now. I'm going to have to become the stray speed running champion, you know, and. Learn how to use the cat, make cat like move like Mario. It's gonna be like doing backflips and like bomb jumps. I hope that you can. (laughs) Dude, I I will buy that game day one if that's a thing. Cat bomb jumps and stuff. It's literally just Super Mario 64, but like with really good graphics and you're a cat and there's no other differences other than those. I am I am all in if I can do some parkour. Oh my god. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Well, Aspen Generation's facing everybody. We can't have We're done here. So you guys thought James was the pun. <coughs> now you know. I, I, I approve. There's very few times that someone else makes a pun that I'm like, okay, good shit. But that was good <laughs> shit right there. I'm down with that. So. Oh, that was, that my was definitely God. hot fire. Sure. Yeah. Bars. Uh, Bars. So Meowers, Meowers Edge with the percor right there. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Meowers Edge. <laughs> that's the game I want now. Even though that game would make me sick as as fuck, I would play that game, dude, just so I could. Pu- Man, percor. Meowers Edge One was so good. Was yeah. it? So I never like, played the, the first time I played it. I was blown the fuck away. Right. Yeah, I was being happy with the game too. Cause like I wanted to play it, but it made me sick. I couldn't. Like I couldn't play it, so I I never could play it. And I played like the little mobile version, platform version, which was actually pretty fun, but you know, uh, wasn't quite the same thing. So. So I I can't tell if I developed motion sickness or if only certain things give me motion sickness, because like I played through Mirror's Edge, I could play Resident Evil Seven mm-hmm. to a degree anyway. Uh. And so, like, I, but, but, like, I can't play, like, Destiny, I can't play, like, all these other FPSs, uh, right? Like, like Overwatch? Like, I, I'm afraid to go, but, no, 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 I can play Overwatch. Oh, I yeah, no okay. I with Overwatch at all, huh. in fact. Huh. I used to play the shit out of that game huh. before Weird. I stopped, right? Um, so, so I don't know, like, when, when I see Resident Evil 8, I go, like, did I develop this and I won't be able to play Resident Evil 8? Or yeah. like, or if there's another first-person game that, that was announced at the PS5, because there was, like, two others that I'm just right. forgetting them off the top of my head right now. Um, I was wondering, mm, will I be able to play that? I remember there was one game showed off in that live stream though that I was watching, and I was I was getting the headache. Oh, interesting. Just watching it, I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, this is too much already, and it was just the trailer. Huh. Like, so I, I just can't remember which one it was though. Yeah, because like Resident Evil Seven wasn't that bad to me because it's not like an FPS where you're just like spin, 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 no. spin, you know, kind of thing. So I could handle that a little bit, but you know. Uh, when F- when Overwatch first came out and everybody in the FGC was playing it, David was like, "You gotta play Overwatch." And I went to his place and tried it, and sure enough, I got a little sick. So have yeah. either of you tried playing on 144 hertz monitors rather I, than 60 hertz? That's that's uh, my current monitor that I'm staring at right now, actually. Because uh, I know that helps like a lot of people to get motion sickness. They get it because of screen tearing and screen blur. Yeah. yeah. So if so you have I, a you know a higher frame rate, that doesn't happen as often. Yeah. I, uh, I have a 140 hertz monitor, and I also make sure to turn off motion blur, and it still did not help when I was playing Destiny on this monitor. Yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to ask what David was using on his monitor. Uh, I would imagine it was one of the higher rates, but yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what he added at. at the I, time. Uh, yeah, because I, I remember this this conversation coming up because I, I said the same thing on Twitter and Seg responded with the exact same thing. He was like, yeah, hmm. you want to make sure to play on a 144 hertz if you can, et cetera, et cetera. Can you, I mean, how much can you change the field of view? Like, here's the weird thing about it is, you know, first person shooters mess me up. But like a game like Splatoon, where you're actually looking at your own character on the screen and stuff like that, then I'm fine. Like as long as so I you have can play that third person, just yeah. Not first person. As long yeah, as I have that, that character, that's, that's how it works. I've noticed for most people with uh, with the motion sickness issue is that it's pretty much only first person yeah. games that it happens in. I mean, it uh, happened to me I, in Metroid Prime as well, which is really crazy. So, 
Actually, I don't remember if I got motion sick during my trip prime. Uh, it's been so long that I've already forgotten. Yeah, it, it's interesting. Shadow Mouse says, you know, he's developed motion sickness as he's gotten older. Uh, I mean, let's put it this way. I mean, I used to have an annual pass to Magic Mountain, and I'd go to Magic Mountain all the time. And certain rides these days make me a lot more dizzy than it, it used to. Let's just put it yeah. that way. So, yeah, for sure, you know, age has something to do with it. So... That was actually one of the things I was going to mention was um, was I used to play Halo and Call of Duty all the time, right, uh, back when it was the 360 days. Uh, and now, uh, when I bought Killer Instinct, I also bought the Xbox Game Pass or whatever, and I noticed, like, oh, yeah, Master Chief Collection exists, right? I could start playing this game. Uh, <laughs> I was too afraid to download it because I was like, am I going to throw up trying to play right. this game? Or, like, what's going to happen? Like, uh, one of the worst that ever happened to me was I was – this was, like, 20 years ago, but I was watching my friend play Duke Nukem. And yeah, and afterwards, I just had to sit down for like an hour. I, I got killed by the, the crazy Harry Potter ride at Universal Studios in Florida, you know, <laughs> the the one that oh, like... Dude, I think I went, that, I went on that after CEO, actually. I think I know what mm -hmm. you're talking about. The one that you're like flying on the broom at first, you know, and you're flying around Hogwarts and it looks... Is it's, it, um, your, your legs are suspended in the yeah, air? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, the Star that, Tours kind one, of thing. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the one, yeah, that I wrote yeah. on. Yeah, after I got off, like there's three screens that you watch. The first one I was watching... And and then you're flying around on the broom. And I was like, this is the sickest thing. I actually feel like I'm flying on this broom. This is awesome. Holy crap, I'm feeling sick. And when it got to the second <laughs> screen, by the time it got to the second screen, I don't even remember what was going on. I don't even remember what the video was. I just remember watching part of it to the point where I was like, no. And I had to close my eyes and I could not watch any more of it. And then by the time it got to the third screen, I just couldn't, I had to keep my eyes closed. And by the time I got off the ride, like I felt bad because the people that I was with, I just couldn't walk for like 30, 40 minutes. Like I was just KO'd uh, sitting there, like, you know, it was really body. bad. Yeah. And I, I just do really bad with VR in general. I mean, I think I've told the story on here before, but my friend brought the PlayStation VR and uh, I really wanted to see how Gran Turismo felt on that. Right. <laughs> oh, Lord, that sounds horrific. So I put the headset on. And it was like, dee, dee, dee. I start driving and I'm like, whoa. And then I took the first turn and I immediately took the headset off. I was like, no, like, no, nope. I'm like, I'm like, nope, well, I cannot do this. I will never I, uh, do this. I, the, I have tried VR one time mm -hmm. and that's when I knew it was never going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> because I was, I was at an indie developer thing here that happens in Portland. Uh -huh. Like semi free well, I guess not anymore because of COVID. Right. But, uh, um, you know, and they were, they were trying out. The, their VR game or whatever, and I was like, mm. I, you know, I've never had the VR thing. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about motion sickness. I've never played on a VR. I just wanted to play on VR. Like, right. like maybe it's something I like. Who knows? So I'm playing. This is the most cartoony, feel good like video game, right? Like <laughs> you, you, you should be feeling like warm and fuzzy and happy and bright right. this whole time. And I'm, I'm like trying to play this game, and I'm like, I'm sweating, and I'm fucking <laughs> like, I'm like, oh god, can I breathe? What is, oh my I, god. Please help. And it, it, it was like... Please help. It, it's like... In, in my, that's what I was saying in my head, but I didn't want to like actually tell right, them that have to right. freak out, right? Like as if their game like was killing me. It wasn't their game. It was just like my motion sickness. Yeah. It's there, not their fault. <laughs> there was the one but, time uh, Elover invited us all to play that one VR game that him and like uh, Crack Fiend were working on and stuff. And it's like that big giant VR studio. And you're actually running around in like a space and everything like that. And like you're trying to sword fight other people. And it was actually kind of oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. They tried to make an e-sport, I guess. Yeah, say. like Vi was there, David was there, and everything. I would call that a surreal sport with with yeah, augmented reality. It's true. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Uh... But like the weirdest part about it was, I was the only one who got significantly sick from it. Like after I, we were done, like I just had to sit outside for a little bit. I couldn't. Yeah, move I, I very think it's well. just because you were the only person who gets motion sickness. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. thing, probably. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think that was like that's probably a weird occurrence. That's. I feel like it would probably be weirder if multiple people got it, you know? Like, then something's wrong. I, I needed you there for my motion sickness solidarity there. <laughs> I was going to say, I actually feel bad for both of you because the first time I played VR was in September 2019. I was at CEO Taku. Uh -huh. So I was staying with Keats. And Keats has a big old fucking VR setup. Oh. So he was like, oh, play my shit. So I played, like, the Star Wars game, which yeah. it was okay. It was all right. I didn't even realize that I needed like 
I could hold my saber with two hands. So I was just like swinging it with one, and I was like, I wasn't like really into it. Right. But then you put on super hot. Holy shit! What's that? Oh, you, you don't never know played hot? super hot. Mm -mm. All right. So the the premise of super hot is you're in this like VR simulation, um, but your opponents. It's a first person game. Your opponents can only move when you move. Oh. So time, if you don't move, time is completely frozen. Uh -huh. And if you go to like punch someone, they can start moving as well. Oh, whoa. And they so, move, and like this, this goes for bullets, this goes for weapons, this yeah. goes for everything. I'm looking at screenshots of this. This thing looks crazy. It's so fucking cool. Oops, actually. So this, this is actually a game that I think you might be able to play, James, <laughs> right. because of the time stop. Yeah. Um, the, there's a lot less of that weird movement that uh, that would probably activate any sort of sickness. And so I, I think Super Hot might actually be on the table. I will tell you, though, right now that I am definitely getting a, de a large variety of images here for having searched for Super Hot. Uh, so, it's Super Hot. Oh, okay. Super Hot, <laughs> isn't it? I, I, I well, no, I think it's, I it is Super it Hot. Be. It is just Super Hot. But there is definitely a lot of, like, Cindy Crawford and anime girls and stuff sure. like that all over that makes this. Sense. this anime stuff. girls. Yeah. yeah for Super sure. hot, baby. This game looks really good. I, I like the I, graphics I in this game, it, it, actually. I know at least a while back, if you were a Twitch Prime sub, uh -huh. that was, like, one of the free games on there. So if you are Twitch Prime, then maybe you should see if it's still hmm. there and check it out. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's yeah, worth no, it. it. It's, it's really good. It and, is. like, yeah, even, even outside of VR, it's a very good game. But in VR, holy shit. But that I mean, it blew my mind how cool it was. I mean, how many levels does it take before you get to like Cindy Crawford and the anime girls and stuff like that? <laughs> so that's that's the question. That's spoiler, James. I can't reveal it. <laughs> yeah, was, there's there's other there's other programs you can use for that. Oh, well. okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, okay, I'll I'll look for those. Okay. <laughs> Do they have stuff like that on the internet? I don't, I don't know. Like, you know. <laughs> Let me show you the world. <laughs> I show uh, you the world. Oh, man. Shining, shimmering. Dude, don't splendor. get me started on Disney karaoke, dude. Like, Oh, wait. We might get DMCA. Actually, hold up. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, I mean, seriously. if you made me do Disney karaoke, we would 100% be DMCA'd because they would not be able to tell the difference between the actual thing and the way that I do Disney karaoke. I've, I've heard rumors about your karaoke, Jay. I heard that you don't do it in front of live crowds. You only do it in the private rooms. Uh, I've, I've done karaoke streams before, uh, but like for Disney. Yeah, but, but like at a bar though, like in front of the whole crowd. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I've done. That's the, what I'm talking about. I've done, I've done that like once or twice before. I'm, oh, okay. I'm okay with doing that, but there was one time I did that at a restaurant and I did uh, one of my songs that I'm known for now is, you know, Under the Sea uh, from Little Mermaid. And I did yeah. that. And like everybody afterwards just kept coming up to me and being like, oh, my God, that was amazing. Like that was ridiculous <laughs> and stuff like random people would come up to me and say that. Because the thing is, I've always wanted to be a cartoon voice as well. Right. So like, you know, like your buddies, Mike and everybody, you know. So I was going to say you, you I've introduced you to professional VO and Isaiah now as well. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, you, yeah, you got the tool, and if you want to be a voice, talk to them. You know what's really weird about that is, so when I when I made that joke, uh, the first the first tweet was a joke, and then the second one was like, but I'm actually serious. Uh -huh. Like, um, before you um, you even um, messaged me, those people, uh, Brandon, yeah. I had forgotten that I had the localizer from Devil May Cry Five who is also the vocal uh, coach or whatever you call it in the video game industry for BB Tag and a bunch of other dumb, uh, <laughs> games. Like, I forgot I forgot that like th this person followed me. So, so like, the second I said that, he was just like, bro, I got you. Like, <laughs> that works. I need that kind of hookup right now, dude. I mean, I know you a bunch of- definitely have that kind of hookup. I feel like if you just told yeah. me, like, I want to be a voice actor, you, you would just get like, I mean, people. well, it's, it's in a game. It's tough. It's a tough thing yeah, to do, though, because like game. I was talking to uh, it was at the Grand Blue party. I was talking to Faye Mata about that. You know, she used to be kind of part of the FGC a long time ago. So it was like the first time I had seen her in a while. And we were just sitting there talking. She does voice acting and stuff. And, you know, she says that, you know, even with talking to Mike and Doc and, you know, and Paul, Dr. Stans and everybody like mm -hmm. that, it's a, it's a weird field. It's a tough field. And it's like, it's not something that I want to do like full time. It would be like, oh, cool. A side gig. And, you know, yeah. you know, Faye was kind of saying like, you know, like they, 
they kind of frown on that kind of thing, you know, that well, like, yeah, the, if you're the, not part of the screen actors, Guild, yeah, the industry is more problem. about or whatever, like, whatever the voiceover. One yeah. Is. You got to be hardcore into it and stuff like that. So, you know, but also fun note for those of you that don't know if a game dev or a movie film, whatever company uses one person that's not in the union, mm -hmm. their entire staff of VO has to be not in the union. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's like a, a rule, like a, a unity thing that the actors cannot be part of it. Right. So if you use like whatever voice acting guild or, or whatever the mm -hmm. fuck it's called, I don't know. They all have to be part of it. I mean, that's, so, that's yeah, what... like they look at people who aren't in it as kind of like scabs. Right. I mean, that's kind of what happened with like dive kick and stuff. Right. All the people who are doing the voice actor were just all of Adam's friends. Right. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I was there when they were recording it. Oh, that's so it was, cool. Uh, Julian, uh, I mean, you know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Mike. Mike is three voices in there, that game. Oh, dang. He's Uncle Sensei, Kung Pao, and uh, Eskil. Uh, Julian <laughs> is Jabali. Big Marcus is Mr. N. Hey, don't forget, so, Nothing Excess was in there, nothing too. Nothing Excess, yep. <laughs> As, so, as yeah, Artemis, just, Artemis is trying to remind on. us. <laughs> Voice is Stream Monster. I have to know. Artemis? Oh, oh I, I can tell you if she doesn't if she doesn't mind let you know me revealing that so that's uh that's oh, okay well if, if it's a thing like that then don't I mean I don't, oh she doesn't care yeah if that's nothing excess's girlfriend yeah <laughs> Rachel yeah Hello. Rachel well one of the people who helps you know run Evo does all the you know organizes all the commentators and all these things like that so I'm sorry the judges and everything like that so yeah yeah that's Rachel uh mom to Mona the cat so the beautiful, beautiful little black cat. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, dive kick was just pretty much all Keats's buddies. I I auditioned for kick, and I did not get it. I was disappointed. Oh dang! He 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 actually he did not like my kick. He rejected you. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Man, like, so, dude, womp, womp. If, you, if you just tweeted about this shit, you would get 1,200 people trying to like yeah. get you up track. Cause, Absolutely. Cause you you are already in a video game as a voiceover. You're well, in Yadagrasu. Yadagrasu, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, I'm already, my voice is already known. That, like, I've done voiceovers for, like, Capcom trailers, and I did the Pocky KO thing, you know, and stuff yeah. like that. So I've already done work like that, so. Just do it. Yeah, so it's something that, you know, I, I I wouldn't be able to do quite like what Mike and Julian are doing and, and Paul are doing, you know. But, you know, it would definitely be something that I would like to, you know, dabble in. I just think that would be so fun. So uh, I remember one time when we were in Japan, we all went to go karaoke one time. And I did the uh, the first song from Beauty and the Beast, you know, Bell. And like, mm -hmm. like the people that were in the room were just like, why do I even need to watch the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and even like the part, like there's that whole dialogue in the middle where she goes into the bookshop and talks to the old man and like on the karaoke, it's just as instrumental, but like, I'm there's just, a lot of dialogue there, yeah. and I'm just doing the entire dialogue dude from memory. Cause like, I'm way too obsessed with Disney music. So with that said, James, yes. just do it right just, now. Just do it. No, no, I'm saying, <laughs> like, oh, 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 okay. Disney voiceover. <laughs> Just, just if you want to do voiceover stuff, you have the means. Yeah, I, I should just put that out there on Twitter. I just be like, I would like to do voice acting. Who wants to hire me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't immediately go to hire. But yeah, I know, I know, I know. Look, this is James. Ch do you know who this is? All right, this is the the world touches commentating james chen all right he can get jobs if he wants them. that's the worst you know, part he's about... also he's also the world esports championship of the cat game <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. that's right the, the, the stray percore champion right here dude oh my god oh man the hours edge percore <laughs> exactly <laughs> Uh, as seen on ESPN, damn as straight. Seen dude. On ESPN, uh, bitch. I can't believe I've only been on ESPN for Tetris as a commentator, dude. Uh, oh, I can't believe I've only been on ESPN one time. But I'm just saying, like, it's not even for a fighting game, dude. Like, I got on there for Tetris of all things, dude. So. Yeah, but also Tetris are, is way more popular it's than true. any fighting game ever will be. Look, so what you're saying is, is you hate Tetris and you're upset that you got yeah. on. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. That's all. I mean, look, guy. only because of that, 
I actually got a conversation with Ming Na Wen on Twitter, so you know, I, like. Oh yeah, we talked about that. That. that <laughs> your crush. I'm totally down with that, dude. I'm totally down with that. Should have so. been like, hey, what up, girl? No, I think she's, she's married, actually. No, though. she's married. She's married. She's married. Listen, uh, man, yeah, hockey, right. hockey has goalies, James. Doesn't mean you can't score. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. It's yeah. a joke. Jokes. Do not cheat. Jeez. Uh, you are a terrible man. Terrible man. But, I mean, look, we've had this conversation a million times. You know you know how I feel about myself. I, you know, like, I, I do. Yeah. I hate my you're, own voice. You're a good-looking guy. I hate my own voice, you know, all these things like that. We all hate our own voices. Don't even. It's true. It's true. And it's like one of the most common, like, things I feel like is hating your own voice. Uh, That game actually kind of exists, Buddha Buddha. I've seen, like, a game where instead of Tetris blocks, it's like cats in weird positions. I've definitely seen something like that already. They've made so many uh, Tetris or, like, or, uh, you know, games like that that I definitely believe that that already exists. I mean, didn't, didn't Tetris get determined like a Tetris style game is like free use basically? Uh, Tetris. I thought that that was like a thing. Oh, did it get that? I'm not I, even I, sure. I thought like like a long time ago they did because there were so many bootleg copies of the original Tetris. Yeah. That they were kind of just like if you don't name it Tetris, we don't give a shit. Uh, uh, something yeah. like that. I'm, I'm gonna interrupt real fast. Sorry. No, go uh, for is it. Is the chat in subscribers only mode? I just got a message about it. Oh, is it? Oh Jesus. Oh, I'm. I think that was from like. A long time ago that I said it that way and I forgot yeah, yeah, to turn yeah, it I, off. I, I got a message on Discord about it. That's the only reason. I ah. This is why we can't have nice things, James. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. I did that because, uh, I, and actually, largely thanks to Isaiah as well. Uh, it took me. Do. It took me a while to, because I had a whole stream where I was just talking about. Um, uh, you know, the Black Lives Matter, right? I was talking about Black Lives Matter a lot, and uh, I just turned it to subscribers only because I just, did, you know, didn't want the the craziness going off in there, so... Oh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, and I just, I guess I... Fr- and, and seriously, that was a week and a half ago, and I have not actually uh, turned it off since then, so... Uh, let's yeah, see. I was curious why the, the chat was so quiet. Yeah. Now I know James fucking it up. Yep. I know. Nor- I normally don't look at the chat anyway. And I again, I had to. I got messaged on Discord. Like, okay. Okay. And since you know we're we're on the podcast, I'm, I'm only looking at Discord. See, subscriber only chat. It's it's off now. Well, let me say. Let me click save and see if. Oh I... no no! It was good because uh, 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 other people. Renato were was able to talk. Yeah. Oh okay 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 cool cool cool. So we are good then. We are good. Okay okay. Sorry guys. Uh, there you go. I'm sorry about interrupting. I just thought that might. No, been... no, that was that was a good interrupt. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about <laughs> that, guys. Back, buddy. <laughs> sorry about yeah. that, guys. That's my bad. That's my, my bad. My, my favorite, my favorite part about um um when James was explaining that story to me though. Or to us, uh, was he said the Black Lives Matter? Like he said it like an old man, like oh the Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Give me a break I remember here. when the Black Lives Matter was going on. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I had to, I had to toss that. I, I don't like making jokes, but that was, that one was just fucking perfect. You know who else would say it like that? Is that fucking NASCAR driver who <laughs> retired because he can't fly his Confederate flag. What oh, a big God. fucking baby. <laughs> the guy had zero wins. Yeah, zero wins, zero pole positions. He was like the worst fucking driver, and everybody's uh. like, okay, bye. <laughs> you'll be so, you'll be sorely missed my dude yeah what the fuck are you like oh jeez. All, all 12 of his fans oops let's say uh, no it's, it's true buddha buddha i am sleep deprived and completely messed up my brain is just like all over the place right now i swear it's so bad but i i think i might just start trying to do that just stream in the middle of the night maybe try to exhaust yeah. myself to the point where you know i can barely yeah, stay try it out yeah, you know, just, like if if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You don't have to keep doing it. And actually, the, it would probably be the best time to stream stuff like Resident Evil Seven and and Resident yeah, Evil exactly. Two Remake, just to do it all in the dark, right? And then, yeah, until you wake up your roommates. Uh, well, I mean, Olaf fortunately lives all you know in a separate separated room, so it's not going to be as bad. He won't hear. Well, I hope he didn't live in the same room as you. That'd be. 
awkward. Hey, I've shared a bed with Keats before, okay? So, look, I'm just telling <laughs> I've you. I've shared a bed with, with many of FGC people, but not on an every night basis. <laughs> yeah, that was for, like, a, a, like, almost a week, I think, that Adam and I shared a bed. So, you know. Getting real close there. <laughs> hey, how you doing? And that was happening in a, in a in a Tom Cannon's house too. So you know, don't, oh, I've actually heard that. Story. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't ask don't ask what that dude. You know what the worst thing about it, Buddha Buddha is? I was taking a melatonin pill every night at one point, and I was taking one like, you know. But the thing about it is like. Every time my mom calls me, I, you know, I, I always tell myself I'm not going to tell my mom things and stuff like that, but I always do because that's just how I am. And I just told her that I was having sleep trouble and I was taking melatonin. And then, like, I hung up the phone and, like, an hour later, my mom calls back and is like, stop taking the melatonin. I Googled it and, like, you can get all these. And, like, you know how, like, every medication is like, there's a chance for, you know, internal yeah. bleeding, you know, and stuff like that. And my mom had read every single one of those and was like, stop taking this. It's not good. And, da, da, da. and I was like, Ugh. you know. Those, those are always so wild to me, too, because you'll just be like, back when I, like, was at my parents' house and, like, they had cable and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll be, you'll just be sitting down, you know, they'll, they'll do their, like, weird-ass, wholesome, like, drug commercial, right? Where, like, they're, they're playing in the park and shit, you know, <laughs> for whatever reason. And then, and then out of nowhere, the narrator's like, side effects may include brain hemorrhaging, internal bleeding. Yeah. Suicidal thoughts. Suicidal th And you're just like, Whoa. And death. <laughs> you know what, you know what's actually wild, though? You'll never see those type of commercials anywhere but the United States. Yeah, well, I mean... When I was... When I was dating my Scottish girlfriend and she came here and saw that shit, she was like, why are they advertising medicine on TV? I was like, that's, <laughs> that's normal. She's it's like, yeah, that's not, a, that's not a thing in the UK. Yeah. Like, all the medicine's free, so oh, we take hurts. what doctors suggest to us and that's it. God, that hurts. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Tr trust me. This is America. There's, that's one of the things that I've been wanting to do. I used to have a blood sugar, sugar medication and I was taking it and I was supposed to go see my doctor and get it re-prescribed for me. But then I had to sign up for some shitty ass, you know, covered California health care. And then they're like, oh, we don't, that doesn't cover us. And so it's like, fuck. And then I tried calling somebody so, like some dermatologist about like this thing. And like, they're like, oh, we don't take any covered California car. I'm just like. And I don't know if you saw it, but like I posted up on Twitter one time. It was the, the itchy and scratchy land clip, you know, from the Simpsons where he's like, you know, do you want to buy a bunch of itchy and scratchy money? And he was like, what's the difference? Like, it's like real money, but fun. And he's like, all right, thousand dollars. Right. And he gets like a thousand dollars in itchy and scratchy money, walks into the park and every sign says we don't take itchy and scratchy money. And he's like, no, you know, <laughs> and like I was like, this is America's healthcare system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Oh, man. Yeah. So it reminds me of the other, the other Simpsons clip. It's like, but money can be exchanged for goods and services. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted no kids and too much. <laughs> oh, all I found was a twenty dollar. <laughs> twenty dollars. Twenty dollars can buy lots of things. <laughs> quick, quick! Explain how money can be used in exchange of goods and services. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, I miss the Simpsons. I miss classic Simpsons. <laughs> it's yeah, it's uh, so again, weird missed... that Simpsons is on Disney now. Oh. And? It's so fucking weird. And they butcher it, too. Because, like, you remember in the Simpsons movie where they're making fun of Mickey Mouse and yep. fucking Bart shows up and he goes, Huh? I'm the mascot of an evil corporation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they did, they did it in South Park a few years ago, too. Uh, that joke is now owned by the Disney company. Uh, yep. God. That's so crazy. Is the Simpsons movie on Disney Plus? Now I gotta go and find that clip I, and just I mean, see. every episode of Simpsons yeah. ever, I believe, is on there now. So I don't see why the yeah, movie wouldn't be. Real. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, That's and insane. and they've kind of butchered them all too because they've uh, they've taken all the early episodes and they've uh, they wide screened it by cutting off parts of the top and the bottom. Oh and yeah. So they it actually doesn't actually make any sense at all, and it actually gets rid of some of the on-screen gags. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It's crazy. Terrible. 
Oh, man. But, I mean, I've been watching all sorts of, like, God, what is it? No, it was Netflix recently that I just decided to rewatch all of Avatar, The Last Airbender, and it's so because good. Because you're goddamn right you did. Right? <laughs> You've watched it too, I've, right, Brandon? I've never seen it. Oh, I've never okay. seen it. It's, it's, it's sorry. very good, Brandon. I, I, I've, I've, been, I've, I've been told. It's like I'm, I'm not going to tell you you absolutely need to. I'm it's, just going to tell you it's one of my favorite TV shows of all time. It's basically like the animated version, of, like the animated equivalent of The Good Place. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I mean, so the, like... The good, the good Place is, 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 is mine and, and Brandon's. Yeah. Avatar, got it. No, because I might actually watch Avatar. What's that? It's... So I might actually watch Avatar. Dude, I mean, look, Isaiah. I'll tell you this. Like, on IMDb, it's like 9.1 or something. Like, it is... No, I, I've heard nothing but good things. I just... I don't watch a lot of TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. No, I mean, like I said, I, I'm not going to push you because I am certain everybody that who has ever, like, spoken to you about this television series is probably trying to push you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, nobody's ever said anything bad about it. Right. I can say that. Yeah. I mean, even, like, the sequel, Korra probably don't even need to necessarily watch it. I mean, that's... The Legend of Korra has the best season in all of the Avatar series. I... Season three of Legend of Korra. I liked Korra a lot, and I'm rewatching that now, that too. That's what you saw pop up on my screen for a second. There. No, yeah, I, yeah. That's, that's, I did see that. That's, that's, that's the reason why I mentioned it, because it was right. specifically Avatar. <laughs> the only reason I would want to watch Korra is because Pat the Flip's wife is the animator yep. for the for the comic yeah afterwards although so i want to just like support although what makes me really mad is that she said she still hasn't seen any royalties from it yet which makes me really sad what so, why yeah. i did not know that that's just because that's just how artists that's an artist's life right that's just how it well, works I mean, but she got paid to oh yeah yeah she comic. got paid to okay, draw okay. the entire thing but she, she just has yeah she probably gets paid like a lump sum yeah and then nothing after right that. yeah, yeah. yeah. But Which I mean, she literally said in a tweet like a couple of like maybe like last week, you know that it's like that. So, oh yeah, last air. I mean, last Airbender is basically American anime is the best way to put it. It's like not an actual anime. So, <clears throat> that's true. Ruby did end up being more popular than the last Airbender, but I also think that because Ruby is more of the CGI kind of thing that. Uh, where, where where is Ruby more popular than in Japan than the Last Airbender, right? Oh, so. there's a reason for that. Um, there, there's an easy reason for that. Oh, is um, there? It, if you if you watch either uh, if you watch them both like side by side, <laughs> uh -huh. you can tell which one is more Japanese than the other, mm -hmm. just by <laughs> the fact that they're both American. And right. Ruby is absolutely more Japanese. Than the Last Airbender. <laughs> okay, fair like, enough. In every way, shape. Fair enough. Fair because enough. They, like all the main characters are cutesy anime girls. Like, oh, to, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, that's to a true. ridiculous degree. That's like, true. It's, it's, it's all just like straight up, like, this would be something that came out of Japanese yeah. anime that would be very popular. Ruby's yeah. made by Rooster Teeth, right? Uh, correct. I mean, and Rooster Teeth started with Red vs. Blue. I fucking loved Red vs. Blue when I was in I, like, yeah. high school. Well, yeah, I used to love watching well, that shit too. Ro yeah. Rooster Teeth got it basically from Monty, o Monty, Monty Ohm. Monty Ohm, yes. yeah. So uh, Monty Ohm originally made a um, series like Dead Fantasy yes, and, other, uh, uh -huh. and other like really cool YouTube videos like that, right? Um, he ended up getting employed at Rooster Teeth. Okay, and okay. They, they used Rooster Teeth's resources to, uh, to make ruby okay and then okay. eventually unfortunately about to pass right and they had to take over because the series wasn't done mm -hmm. right and, and want to leave it on the cliffhanger or whatever so yeah <clears throat> but yeah i mean uh that's why i've always said if someone want if someone asked me to make a fighting game based on an existing franchise La avatar would be exactly where i would go i would do like some crazy time warp storyline where i could get the Korra characters versus the avatar characters and you know the the last airbender characters and just do like a lot of like you i you could do so many cool like i already know how i would do ang so that he could actually be kind of broken but just executionally hard to make him work and stuff so like that's I've always wanted to make an avatar fighting game because I just think it would be so fascinating. You could do so many super because <clears throat> like, I mean, obviously this is not like a, a major spoiler, but uh, avatar Korra takes place 100 years after avatar. And like one of my favorite things about it is that Korra is all of a sudden more modern. Like, Avatar is, like, very, you know, oh. There are cars. Yeah, like, we're in temples and stuff, and then in Korra, they're driving cars, and, you know, there's, like, machines and stuff like that That's everywhere. Cool. And, like, yeah. 
you know, but one of the coolest things is that, you know, before, you know, bending was like, oh, you're a waterbender. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, you have these powers and blah, blah, blah. By the time it gets to Korra, bending is like kind of normalized that there's anti-bending movements. And now bending is just a sport. Like there's literally just a sport where they just like fight and like it just like you could incorporate like some of those concepts in there and stuff. I don't know. I just think it would be really cool. So anyways. I'm starting to, just, you know, get too much. I, into I, don't, I don't want a uh, Avatar fighting game because I don't want there to be a possibility for them to stain the glory and the perfection <laughs> that that series has as of right now. I don't yeah. want there to be a chance. That's the, you feel about it the same way that I feel about Darkstalkers, right? So, like, I just don't want a new Darkstalkers game. Because hey, I just look, don't... James, Darkstalkers not dead. That's all I know. I, all. Yeah, it is. I don't want them to ruin Darkstalkers. I'm, I'm still mad at Capcom for saying, well, our HD release of Darkstalkers didn't sell well, so you guys clearly don't want a new one. Okay, we're packing it up. Like, what kind of logic is that? Japan the logic. Companies, yeah. <laughs> That's Japan logic, 100%. That's so stupid, dude. That's how Japan works. That's the, I mean, Marvel, Ultimate Marvel Capcom 3 didn't sell. And so they packed up the whole dev environment, right? So, I mean, and why didn't it sell? Because it came out less than one fucking year after the vanilla game. Nine months. Yeah, and everybody was Nine like, months. are you kidding me? You know? Well, what should have happened is they should have just had Marvel 3 and then released like a $30 DLC update. Right. That's but, what they should have done. But they didn't know However, how to really do that. However, they put a whole new disc game out. But at least Marvel, Ultimate Marvel 3 was only 40 bucks. Right. It wasn't a full price game. Yeah. And, and, and what actually turned out that, you know, surprised them was that because it was 40 bucks and because it would just get cheaper afterwards and because the game was so goddamn good and everyone loved it, it was actually one of their longest term games that just never stopped selling. Like it kept selling, and but Japan doesn't work it's that way. So good. Because Japan, I've always been told, like you know, like you know, when Dragon Quest comes out, there's like, like they have to force them to release it on a weekend, otherwise it disrupts school and work. Like everyone takes the day off when a new Dragon Quest comes out. Right. And so, you know, everybody buys games right away. And so in Japan, like if after like two weeks the game goes in the bargain bin. Like, that's just the way it works. Like, it, it's Weird. either there now or, like, nobody cares. It's crazy. If only Nintendo had that philosophy, good lord. Mm. Yeah, Nintendo never discounts their games. Yeah, I Ever. know, right? Breath of the Wild is still $60. <sighs> and they sold, like, a bazillion copies, too, dude. Like, by now you could make the HD, like, the, 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 the uh, you know, the Platinum Edition or something. Game like of the that. Year, yeah, Game of the Year Edition <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, all that, right? I yeah. mean, I mean, to be fair, Rockstar does that too. Like, they... It takes them a very, very, very long time before they drop prices on their games. Yeah. I thought they only did that for Grand Theft Auto Five. No, I mean, it's like Red Dead Redemption 1, Red Dead Redemption 2, okay. GTA okay. 4. G GTA 4 is cheap now, obviously. But 4 oh, yeah. took a really long time before it had a Game of the Year Edition. And then 5 was full price for like the first three years it was out. And I mean, granted, it released on PS3, 360, and then next gen, and now it's gonna be on another fucking PS5. gen of consoles. It's gonna be on <laughs> PS5, everybody. I mean, has there been a game besides like GTA 5 and- Resident um, Evil 4. Oh, uh, Resident Evil 4, well, and I was gonna say, um, not Oblivion. Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim, yeah. Those are like the three games that are, they're never going to die. Uh, they're going to be remaking them until we're dead. The other one is uh, is uh, Symphonies of the Night. Symphony of the Night? Yeah, that's been on like seven different platforms. Be I know this because really? one of my friends... It's been in collections. It's never, yeah. it's, it's um, when, when they when they re-release it though. It's it's usually oh, okay. never just Symphony of the Night by itself. Whereas, uh, whereas like Skyrim and Resident Evil 4 and shit, it's all just by itself. It's always by itself. They always just... Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, Resident Evil 4, it's going to be on PS5. You already know it. <laughs> I mean, I know I this like because... I would, I would probably take that bet at this point. <laughs> like... one, of my, one of my friends uh, has bought Symphonies of Night on every platform. That's why I know. Because <laughs> he's always like, God damn it, I have to buy this game again. <laughs> you don't have to. It's all okay. <laughs> I, I, mean... love the game too. I love the game too. But I've owned Metal Gear Solid on every platform that it's been on. 
Oh, do you really? Metal Gear Solid I One. At, at some point, yeah, I, I bought MGS One on every platform it's been nice. on. Two, three. I think those only three that have been on several different platforms. But yeah, I've I've always rebought the MGS One through three. If I I was just talking to some friends the other day, saying that I was sad that it's not on any current gen, because I don't like Five that much. Five is a terrible story. Like the gameplay is cool, mm -hmm. but it's not. It doesn't feel like a Metal Gear Solid game. But one through four all feel like Metal Gear Solid games to me. Okay, okay. Yeah, four feels weird. Four. Is, I mean, what is your favorite Metal Gear Solid game out of all of them? Oh, three. Okay, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sub Subsistence though, not not the not the original version that came out. Oh, really? The one they got released like a year later that had free roam, uh, three hundred and sixty uh, camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That made okay, the game okay. complete. The, the yeah, original yeah, yeah, yeah. three, the like release day three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, it was it was it was good, but it, it felt. Like you needed to be able yeah. to look around you. Yeah, subsistence and then when they changed was, that. It, it felt amazing. Yeah, subsistence was the first one that, that was the only one that I've played. So yeah, that was super good. That game was super good. Yeah, that, that's like a top five game all time for me. Yeah, I and could of replay course, that game over and over. The again. other best thing about that game is that it has the Snake Eater song. So you know, <laughs> climbing up the ladder. Oh, yeah. it's so good. I'm the first time I did that, man, I got goosebumps. In a it was dream. so strong. Snake Eater. Yeah, yeah dude. Ah, God, that song is so good. Didn't uh, Sumi do that? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. she, she does that every yep. single speedrun. GDQ, week. yeah. Oh, there you go, yeah. Yeah, every time they every speed run the life. game, when they climb up the ladder, she sings it live. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> this, I mean, that's one of the things. I mean, she's down here in SoCal, and I, you know, well, obviously the quarantine thing, but, like, you know, we used to go, like, karaoke all the time, and so I, I need to get back onto that, dude, so... Yeah, you know, just, just go ahead and risk COVID. And, uh... <laughs> oh. That's just crazy, dude. That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? How sexy the PlayStation 5 looks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think so. I, I, I think that console looks so fucking cool. It looks like, a, looks like a negative right. Oreo. I'm down for it. Dude. I I I I like <laughs> I like okay the, the white game. black. I I fucking love it. I think the it's color so scheme cool. is fine to me. I don't I don't understand why the issue is with the color schemes. I I think the color scheme is actually fun. like I I'm the, mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh the 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 fucking the collar <laughs> that that is very confusing. For me. I do. I, I actually I love the I, I as much as I like how it looks. I love the memes. The memes have been so oh, fucking yeah. <laughs> cell. Dude, oh, They've been so I No, the like... cell one, if they actually made a PS5 like that, I would easily drop more money on that one. I think I think I that would actually, look dope. I would be forced to purchase a PS5. That shit looks <laughs> mad though. <laughs> I mean, a cell mode when you put it down on its side, it looks like Tony Stark's fucking house, dude. I mean, okay, so like... it can be put on its side. That's it can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it can, yeah, yeah, it can. I, mean, yeah. I had somebody ask me, and I had no idea. Yeah, no, no, like, yeah, you, you can. I feel like I feel like whoever made that console like had a hard on for Eve from Wally -E or something. You know, I mean, seriously. I, like, I, I am into it, man. I like the fucking blue esports light on it, like that. <laughs> the whole thing, the white and black color scheme, like every, I, I dig it. This shit looks mad futuristic. Oh man. I, uh, I just, I just don't think we're, uh, we're, we're, we're futuristic enough though for it to sit in our living room. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so I will, out of place. I am gonna display that shit proudly on my uh, picnic table that I use as a desk. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to do the same shit, dude. Like, I don't, I don't blame you at all. Oh man. I, I had to go to Goodwill to get an actual desk eventually. Yeah, I, I yeah. definitely am gonna get a real desk here soon because I've been using this fucker for four years. It's getting kind of. It works, right? Like, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, like it's it's functional. I mean, I, I mean, the that. desk that me and David got for the Ultra Chen show. Is literally a. It's, you're supposed to buy three of them. You're like supposed a to. Table. Yeah, you're supposed to get three of them, and like, you know, that the side that I'm sitting on over here is actually the back end. This is the front end of the desk, mm -hmm. but we use it backwards because it makes it look more like a sports desk, you know, because we're angled <laughs> inwards and stuff like right. that. So, yeah, I mean. Use whatever you use. I mean, the stuff that my monitor's on and my computer is in is in a bookshelf that's put on its side right now. So, mm. um. hold on. I, so I, I put up a, a poll on Twitter to see what people's thoughts were on how it looks. Let me <laughs> look it up real quick because when I I looked about an hour before we started the stream, uh -huh. and so the poll says I just said I want to see something, 
and I put PS5 is ugly, PS5 is sexy. Yeah, I'm sad. An you hour didn't... before the stream, I looked, and it was 50-50. <laughs> Completely down the line. Right. Right now, it is 52% sexy, 48% ugly. There you go. So it's still it. pretty even. Yeah, so basically inconclusive. <laughs> inconclusive. Yeah, it's it's interesting how torn people are on if they yeah. like it or not. I don't. I don't. It to me, it doesn't seem like a huge, like a, like a huge deal. Like, I mean, like, yes, I don't like the design personally, but I don't. I don't need to go on Twitter to like freak out about it. I mean, I, I think, guess I don't know. I think Damon. You know, I made a joke about the boomerang because of it. Yeah. That was about it. <laughs> you know, I just thought that was funny. Damon from Capcom from a long time ago. You know, uh, uh, he. Uh, he was, I mean, he's old like I am, knows about all the old consoles. He was just posting pictures of all, like, the fucking Atari Jaguar and all this other shit that's just, like... <laughs> I, I, I actually don't have a huge problem with some of those designs. Dude, some of them. the, the some 3DO, of them. I remember this, too. The 3DO had one controller port, and the second player had to plug their controller into the first player's controller. Yeah. Weird. Why? <laughs> Who knows? Why dude? did they like, think that was a good idea? It wasn't knows? 3DO like a thousand dollars too. That thing was stupid expensive, and it wasn't very yeah. good either. And well, I, it, but it was really good for arcade perfect fighting. Super games. Turbo, yeah. And I got one. It was supposed to change everything. Yeah. 3DO. I got a used time. one for a very very expensive price for Super Turbo. And the guy told me, yeah, the controllers have six buttons on it. What he didn't tell me is that, you know, the buttons he were meant were, like, start and select and shit. So I thought he had <laughs> extra controllers and stuff. But then after I got it and I talked to him about it, I never heard from him again, of course. So Damn. You know. Yeah, you, um, got, you, got, you got body, bro. Yeah. And then I eventually ended up giving it to my friend because I actually bought Starblade for it. And they were, he was a big fan of Starblade. And then it died. So it was like, whatever. Rip. Yeah. Oh God. Speaking of sexy, sexy black consoles here. Oh, but yeah, I'm super excited for Spider-Man. Absolutely. Uh, but that I mean, I'm a comic book nerd who happens. To I mean, I mean, watch yeah. Spider-Man and uh, have a have a a small affinity for black heroes as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, I guess I guess I'm a little biased in that one. Yeah. You do know my cat is named Miles, right? I actually, it, I don't, I don't think I remember that at all. Is it yeah, because of that? Sadly, as big of a Spider-Man fan as I am, Spider-Man, people think Deadpool's my favorite hero. He is not. Spider-Man is by far my favorite superhero. Mm -hmm. But my cat is not named after Miles. Uh, Miles. Okay, He's named after okay. Tails. Yeah. Tails, oh, Miles okay, Crower. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. he doesn't have a tail. So I thought it'd be ironic to name him after a character with two tails. I thought <laughs> I was being clever. Actually, no, no, Bulby came up with the name. It wasn't even me. As a really dumb Sonic fan, I uh, I actually like it. <laughs> <laughs> I still like the fact that people's minds are still blown that Miles Prower is a is a is a pun. <laughs> I, it's 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 you can't say it without realizing it. I right. Feel like. <laughs> but if you read it a bunch, you don't think about it. But as soon as someone right. says it out loud, you're like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I don't I understand how people miss it, but I guess yeah. I guess I've been playing Sonic games for a really long time, so yeah. I probably just figured it out early enough that like there's no way I could miss it anymore. Yeah, Jasmine definitely scratched me, by the way, because I am definitely hella bleeding right now. So you can, yeah, Miles is biting me. You can see on my arm right now. I'm definitely bleeding here. Well, I don't understand why everybody's cats like fuck them up, and then the cat that I live with is just like. Eh. Oh, my cat's up. My cat's either extremely affectionate or he's like that, where he'll bite me for no reason. Yeah. Jasmine, There's no in between for him. Jasmine just hates being held, so I tried to hold her like that, and that's why she was just kind of like struggling. So mm -hmm. Miles is very specific on when he wants me to hold him. Yep. If I get out of the shower, he wants me to hold him. If it's like right Dude. now where he was just sitting on the table next to me and I pick him up, he's like, let me go. Dude, every so time super weird. I try to take a shower, when I jump into the bathtub, Nathan chases me into the bathtub. Yeah, so Miles does that to me too. He wants to snuggle in the bathtub. It's weird. Oh no, I'm... he doesn't do that. He chases me and like swats at my leg as I step into the oh, bathtub. Oh no, no. Nathan jumps in there, waits for me to sit down in the tub, and then he crawls into my lap and just like snuggles. <laughs> it's fucking weird, That's weird. dude. Cats don't really like fucking hate baths. Yeah. Uh, like 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 people baths anyway. Yeah, cats are weird, but you know it's fine. Whatever, it's all good. <sighs> yeah, Spider Man. I hope it's dope. I've I've read rumors that it's not a true sequel to Spider Man. Oh, the, really? The 2018 game. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah I, I, I've I've read that it's more of a like a 1.5, hmm. like an in-between game, and they're actually still developing Spider-Man 2. I mean, that would make sense because of the way that gaming is so expensive to make that you develop all this engine and all this system. Like, like you know, they probably fucking put millions of dollars into just making sure Spider-Man was fun to swing around the city because that's, dude, like, the key factor. Dude, swinging in that game is so perfect, though. Yeah. I mean, it's still not as good as the uh, Spider-Man 2 from a long time ago. But no, it's way better. You think I, so? I, uh, I, I don't know whether or not it's way better, but it, it, it has been a long time before I've heard someone say that it's even been remotely close. I, I, yeah, I, I mean. personally think it's way better be, just because of uh, how easy it is to maneuver the terrain. Mm -hmm. For example, like, if you are swinging along and you come up against, like, a fire escape, Spider-Man will go like this and go right oh, in between yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah, ladder yeah, and shit. Yeah. Like, like, that type of stuff is... Yeah, I'm just like, that shit they 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 could have done in Spider-Man yeah. too. The technology just wasn't. There. I'm just sad yeah. that I'm just sad that it's not the alternating webs like it was in the PlayStation Two in the first game. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that you had to go cool. one, two, you know, back yep. and forth. That was right, my yeah, favorite that was thing super dope. because that yeah, also you gotta, you gotta remember you were also swinging on literally nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, By the way, that's one of my favorite Spider-Man games. I'll just throw that out there. Yeah. No, Spider-Man 2 was incredible. Yeah, except... Like, I just, like literally just swinging around was, was yeah, very Yeah, except just the fact that there was just so many fucking lost balloons and people falling off of buildings for no reason, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. My balloon! My balloon! <laughs> Mr. Aziz is gonna uh. kill me. <laughs> so, Miles just brought me this torn-up paper. Uh-huh. This is what he does. When he wants to play, he takes little paper balls... And he brings them and puts them on my foot until I throw them for him. And then he chases them and brings them back to me. You you play fetch with him. That's awesome. I play fetch with my cat. That's yeah. so cool. Catch the cats do play fetch. I found out. I, yeah, it's odd. But, but is, is it just like, like wads of paper that you've pre-made for this purpose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so okay. he doesn't like any hard toys. He only likes oh. toys that he can like carry in his mouth easily. Huh. And balls of paper, particularly for whatever reason, receipt paper. If I go to the grocery store, he hounds me until I ball up the paper and throw it for the receipt paper and throw it for him. I'm gonna. He's super. We I don't know why. I'm gonna. I think try I just this. randomly did it one day, and he was like, "This is the greatest thing ever." <laughs> I'm gonna try this, dude. I'm gonna try this myself. But yeah, any anything that he can like carry in his mouth easily, that's a toy. But I have like like harder plastic balls and stuff that have mm -hmm. like bells in them or whatever. He hates them. He won't fuck with them. Yeah. Because he can't like carry them in his mouth and rip them apart. I have so many cat toys that my cats pay no attention to. So I, you know, I'll try the, try the paper, paper. Balls. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of and, cats are, uh, they'll have their hunter's instincts. So they want to be yeah. able to function. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's half bobtail. So mm. he's like kind of, I don't want to say feral, but his dad, his dad was definitely a wild cat. Yeah. I mean, that's why I, uh, when I feed my cats treats, I actually throw the treat. Like, I'll throw my treat down my stairs, and Nathan just runs down and chases him. He, <laughs> he, he loves doing that shit, dude. It's exciting for him. It's the only way I can get that stupid cat to exercise, too, so. Ugh, God. Same. Yeah, I mean, if you throw food, I'll chase it, too, James. <laughs> <laughs> All maybe, right, fair enough. Maybe that's fair enough. Maybe that's how I, I keep knocking off weight. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. Next time I see you, I'm definitely throwing food. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, just, gotta, just, just chuck an ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get like those little, those little Nestle little bits, you know, <laughs> those little dude. Nestle bites, ice cream bites, and throw them, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm down. Or fucking oh. like, like individually wrapped gummy bears. Oh, nice. Yeah, if you Chase actually threw around out. those little shrimp dumplings that you can get at, like, dim sum places, like, wrap them up in paper and throw them around, I would probably go and chase them. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh. But, yeah, so Spider-Man looks dope. What else? Were you guys excited for the besides Stray? We already know Spider about Man, Stray. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Ratchet and New Clank. Horizon. Oh, uh, yeah. I never finished the first one. So, so Horizon, when it first got announced, was easily one of my most anticipated uh, games that when it, on the, the year it got, like, announced. Because it was like it was a new IP. It looked sick, uh, like conceptually, but it also just looked good in in play. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it wasn't just like one of those. Oh yeah, you know, it's got the AAA budget behind it, so it's of course it's gonna look nice or whatever. You know, it was right. like, it also it also reflected that while it was like moving. Right. Kind of deal. So uh, anytime more Horizon stuff comes up, I'm I'm happy about it, especially because like in this type of market. Uh, I always worry when a new IP comes out that nothing will become of it after the game. <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, I mean, it happens all the time, right? I mean, the God of War is very rare that, you know, new IP comes out and then it just, like, all of a sudden there's, like, five sequels and shit like that, so. Yeah, it fucking takes off. I mean, I mean, you know, that's, that's lucky. That's how we get some of the best games that we've played. Yeah, one of the games that, I, you know, I did kind of want to talk about that I didn't get a chance was that uh, Goodbye Volcano High. Like, like yeah. re- really interesting game. The free game? game? Yeah. The, but the interesting thing about it was, like, I saw some comments on one of the writers of the game on Twitter. I don't know if you saw it. But, like, they I, were, like... I think we're thinking of the same thing. Yeah, they're, they're saying that they're really happy about it. And, you know, they're excited to talk about it. And, you know, they talked about how the game actually explores a lot of LGBTQ, like, concepts the main, the main and stuff like that. The character's not binary. Yeah, okay. so I think that's I think I that's no really idea. cool. I think that's really uh, yeah, cool. Well, also. it's not really reflected in the trailer because it's like, it's you shouldn't. I, I guess a lot of the time you don't have to out. You shouldn't have to like outwardly. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of right. Mm-hmm. But you know, again, I mean, when I put my list of characters that I wanted in Street Fighter Five, you know how they announced there's going to be five more characters. One of the characters that I really wanted them to put in there was Eagle, and that's just to have an open gay character in the game. You know, because Zangief is always ambiguous. Like, I'm pretty right. sure he's gay, but, like, nobody ever... They don't talk about it or anything Never like that. Never been confirmed. Right? right, and if they just put Eagle in the game and actually confirm that he's gay and not play off of it, you know, like, not make him weird or anything or have everybody talk about it all the time, but just saying, hey, look, one of the characters in the game is gay, then I just think it would be really cool. You know, I just I think it's good representation. So, yeah, representation is uh, matters a lot more than some people might think. Mm-hmm. Is what I would say. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. uh, Gran Turismo. That's something I'm looking forward to. It, it's been a really long time since a, a Gran Turismo game, right? I believe it's been. Well, I'll put it this way: it's been a long time since I've played one personally. Right. The last one I played was the PS3 edition. I, I heard Whatever it's been a long was. time at all. Uh, but I also am not big into racing games. Well, there right? was that might be the only genre of game that I'm not like, like super about. The Gran Turismo was on the PlayStation Four because that's what I did with the VR and got sick on, right? So uh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I think they've had one on like I know they had two on PS One. Mm-hmm. I know they had at least one on PS Two, one on PS Three, and one on PS Four. Right. But it's it's usually like one or two a yeah, generation yeah, yeah. at most. But I mean, for me, I, like. I like I kind of like racing games, but I can't play realistic racing games, you know. Whereas my yeah, you got you got to play your Mario Karts and your Mario Karts. Fuck oh, look at me! I was top eight in Mario Kart at Evo. F Zero, dude. Fucking F Zero GX, dude. That... Are we ever gonna get a new F Zero? I don't think so. I... Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. <sighs> oh, cut, I say this cuts deep. I'm wrong, but you know, cuts deep, Never man. Happen. Cuts man, deep. Man, if Nintendo was like. Modern, they would make a fucking F Zero game and put a whole esports thing around it. Dude, they wouldn't even have to. Like, the game is a thirty man race. Like, can you imagine if they just made it so that all thirty, like, like make it kind of like the uh, the 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 battle royale kind of things, right? So you play in a race, you play, you get thirty people, you race, you fall off the track and die, and you immediately get thrust into another thirty man race. And you just keep going that way. Like, I think that would be amazing, dude. Like, I, I would like for them to not specifically focus on esports anything, because the last time they did that, they just <laughs> flopped super hard. Well, uh, yeah, that's why I said if, if Nintendo was modern. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Well, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just saying that, like, I, I, if, if they just make a game and let it become... Like right. Sure, 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 sure. But then they would they would better. put a cease and desist on everybody because they're like, we should be making the money off yeah. of this, you know? Like they did with Smash yeah. all that time ago. Oh man. But yeah, dude, if I could get a new F Zero, because also too, if they made a new F Zero, brought back all thirty racers and also brought back all thirty of their theme songs from F Zero GX, like that would be clutch right there, dude. Because they all had theme songs. I just don't see it ever happening. Yeah. I I just find it odd that Nintendo has all these IPs and they shove all these fucking characters of theirs into Smash and then do nothing with them. I know. Why all these Earthbound characters, all all these F-Zero characters, et cetera, et cetera, and they're just not making games for them. It's it's weird. It's very strange. I mean, from what I've noticed is they're, they're um, they're very afraid of risk. 
and, and, and so they, they they like to make a lot of Mario games because obviously yeah. Mario's gonna fucking sell, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, also another thing too is that you know I I'm kind of okay with that because a lot of times they try to make sure their game is good, just kind of like how Metroid Prime Four got delayed because they were like this sucks, and dude, just, they fucking deleted the game and started from scratch yeah and you know i, I mean I gotta be honest with you though that's not always nintendo definitely puts out some fucking dumpster fires of video games yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna yeah, throw that out yeah, there yeah that's true. yeah not not this mario tennis but the previous one for wii u that game was fucking trash was oh was it yeah. oh it, it, it was it was like it was like barely bare bones of a fucking video game jesus christ there's like single player mode versus mode and that's it by the way, even though I'm not a big tennis player, I still want to make a tennis video game and make it right. Because every tennis video game out there sucks right now, but that's just me, so. Are you sure you haven't played the simulator tennis games? All right. No. Are, are... <laughs> hey, vir- virtual tennis was dope back in the day. Yeah. I, I mean, wish they would make a new virtual tennis. I mean, the, the, biggest, the biggest problem with every tennis game is that they're all auto-tracking. And th- that's just like, that completely ruins tennis. Well, what do you mean auto tracking? So, for example, one of the weaknesses of coming up to the net and playing at the net is that you can get a passing shot on your left or your right, and uh, depend and it's a fifty-fifty guess. But in every video game, no matter which one they hit, you hit A and you go to it. Oh yeah, virtual tennis wasn't like that. Yeah. Oh, was it? Virtual tennis? No, you, you had to push the direction where the ball was going. Oh, yeah. interesting. Virtual okay. tennis was pretty realistic, and there was realistic momentum. So if you got caught running one way, you could not go back to the other side of the court. See, the was, what I, top spin yeah, was, it was cool. The what I actually wanted to do. Did you ever guys ever play skate? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I want to make the tennis version of skate, where all your swinging is through the analog controller, so that if I'm at the net and I want to stab one direction, I gotta hit one direction or the other. If I want to do a top spin, if I want to actually do a top spin, or if I want to do a slice, I gotta you know move the analog stick in the right way and stuff like that. And I so think. He, you want to make a game that provides some of the funniest YouTube videos I've ever seen in my goddamn life, is what you say. Because <laughs> <laughs> skate videos are definitely the pinnacle of fucking comedy Dude, that I've ever seen. <laughs> there are some skate videos that, like, I am sad that I've never that I never downloaded them or something because when Skate One first came out and you could go onto the website and see everybody's videos, like I have yeah. never laughed that hard like in my life. They did such a good job of making like it possibly be as funny as possible. Dude. Like, and and just me, the, the ragdoll physics just make me die. To me and my friend, and and the glitches too. Like me and my friend yeah. were playing the game. Like my friend would play it a lot, and there was literally we kept because jo- he's a big Star Wars fan, right? We kept joking that like he was the enemy of Darth Vader or some shit because he was just like skating around and he would just get launched off the skateboard yeah. for no reason, you know? It was just. Darth Vader would randomly just yeah. voice push him. Just like, and, and like, and seriously, like, there was one of the most funniest shit. Like, I can't believe they put this in the game. But, like, he was just, like, I, every time I played the game, I would always, like, try to skate on the sidewalk. I would stay out of the street and everything like that. He played the game, and he was just fucking skating in the middle of the street, and he got hit by a car, and he would come back. He would skate around, get hit by another car, and he's just, like, doing all this stupid shit. And I'm like, what are you doing, right? And he's skating around. He gets hit by another car, and then the, uh, you know how there's an announcer, like a narrator? The narrator is like, why don't you just stand in the street, get hit by cars all day? <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought, I, we started dying, dude. I was like, oh my god, that's hilarious. James, are you the guy who plays Grand Theft Autos and follows the traffic lights? Yes, like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, I gotta stop at that red light, man. Yeah. You know, I, can't, I can't drive on the other side of the street. I tried either. not killing I, anybody. I feel like that's what you do when you're really bored. Like, when I was a kid, that's what I would do yeah. when I was really bored. I would try to follow the, like, the traffic laws and everything. <laughs> yeah, well, dude, that's like, why... Well, well, that's to create the absolute amount of chaos... Do the opposite of it, dude. And that was more entertaining at the time because the game was already about making chaos. Right. Like, so doing the opposite of, of it was far more entertaining after you got bored. I mean, that's how you get those speed runs, like the Ninja Gaiden, no, you know, pacifist runs, where you kill zero creatures except for the bosses, well, dude. I mean, those are those are a little different. Those are like, can I actually beat this game without right. killing anything? Kind of deal, like. Oh man. Ah, <sighs> fucking video games, dude. <laughs> yeah, but again, I don't know. Back to the whole PlayStation 5 thing. I'm not excited right now, and all I can keep thinking about is they didn't give us the price, so how much money am I going to have to fucking spend on this shit? I am the price, yes. Yeah. I, uh, I my, my prediction for the price is the disc 
version is going to cost more. Yeah. But of also course. have less storage because it has more moving parts and it's going to be hard, harder mm-hmm, to sell. Mm-hmm. And I do think they're going to go 5.99 on one of the consoles again, even though they got all that backlash from PlayStation 3. Yeah. But you know, with with inflation and two generations later, 5.99 shouldn't be that big of a deal. And the Sega Saturn was like 400 bucks, if you guys remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like that. Fucking for, or, or like the, the original Xbox? Yeah. The original Xbox was a fortune. Yeah, they have to realize that they have they have to treat their consoles like printers, right? You're you're not making you the money. The loss. Yeah, you you sell the machine at a loss, but then you make the money on the ink. Yeah, the software. Yeah, that's basically what PlayStation has to do. So you make the you lose the money on the console, you make the money on the PSN. Right on all the PSN subscriptions and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, I, I I'm hoping it's it's affordable. Um, if it comes with all those accessories that we're showing, if it comes with the stand and the remote and the camera mm-hmm. and all that shit, it's gonna be mad expensive. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I'd be willing to bet that they were just showing off cool accessories you can buy optionally. There's no <laughs> way it fucking comes with all that stuff. <laughs> at least, at least I don't think it could. Right. I mean, back in the day when we bought a fucking Super Nintendo, it always had two controllers. Imagine that. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. It yeah. came with two controllers and a game and all that shit. That doesn't happen anymore. came with Super fucking Mario World, dude. Like, one of the best video games of all time, dude. Like Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, man. okay, when they bundled that, it's not like they knew it was the best movie. Like, one of the best yeah, video games well, of all time. It's not like... They probably had was, a pretty good so idea. To be kind of the old, like, <laughs> they had a good idea. It wasn't Gyromite and Duck Hunt, okay? Look, I'll admit some of the old consoles came with shitty games, okay? So... Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. You can't really like expect like, oh yeah, they just knew, like. Right. Yeah, <sighs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, consoles still do come with at least a game. They just definitely don't come with multiple controllers. Yeah. Like, but... I mean, when the Xbox 360 came out, the the game to get was fucking Geometry Wars. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. The amount of hours spent on Geometry Wars evolved was was absurd. Oh, God. I, I, I. I don't. I don't even know if I can count that. Uh, I spent I, more time on number two than I did on number one. Then three got all weird with that with the weird three D stages. I didn't know they released the third I think, one. I think a lot of people just didn't do three. Yeah. Like at all. It, it went to 3D stages, and I really didn't like it. All of a sudden, like all of a sudden, I, I just like it was weird. Like you would had to go around corners and it would rotate and there would be shit behind the corner that you didn't see and you I was, can't see it. Yeah. yeah, I was like, this is not like the whole point of Geometry Warriors Wars is that you fucking see everything and you still die. You know. <laughs> well, it was it was you still die because of all the screen noise. Like there was so much visual noise. Yeah. Because of everything you that blew up, uh-huh. like blew up as if it was like pre-release KI yeah. particle effects. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like, I don't. I, I. You know what? I like. I don't even want to admit how much time I spent in pacifist mode on the second one. You know where all you did was just fly through the gates. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was. I was surprised at how uh, interesting and fun that was, yeah. despite it being what it was. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? God, I played that so goddamn much, and me and my friend kept trying to beat each other's score on it, dude. It was crazy. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was like in top 50 for like that one with you had to do the stages remember how like they had the patterns and stuff like yeah, that yeah, yeah. I was like top 50 in the world at one point in time on that I don't hey, know man, if I'm you, still you can always prepare for the stages you right exactly <laughs> yeah I read about like all the strategies and I just had the magical run and I was like fuck yeah I'm never playing this again <laughs> I'm top 50 bitch <laughs> yeah exactly oh man shit yeah, I hope the price point of the PS5 is not uh, yeah. super high, but at the same time, I'm wondering if, like, if they don't have much of a choice kind of deal. Yeah, because I, I have no idea. Because it is going to be an expensive thing to make. That's going to be an expensive hardware. Like like PS3, PS4, which they probably... Well, PS4 especially, they were definitely selling that at a loss. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah, yeah, for sure. All, all the these... launch of, what, 400 bucks? Yeah, or something like that. Uh, one one thing I was I was gonna mention uh, that maybe since you guys like probably saw all the pictures and stuff, whereas like I only watched the the, the stream. Uh-huh. Um, 
did that disc tray look smaller than normal disc trays to anybody? I think it was just because the console is really long, to be oh, honest okay, with you. Okay, okay, okay. The it's... reason I asked, because I was like, are they really about to go back to proprietary, like... <laughs> no, no, no. They, they, they said the console plays 4K Blu-ray discs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, but I was still worried about it, I guess, yeah. for some reason. I don't know. Pretty sure it's because... I mean, I think that might be one of the reasons why they're trying to promote it as a standing console is because of how long it is and that maybe it takes up too much space and so... Standing... Well, every PlayStation since 2 has been... A, they've promoted it as a standing console. Yeah, I guess I you're right. The PS4 was on the... Was, was horizontal, right? Only the PS4, though? Well, Only when the... they when they first showed it, they showed it horizontal, yeah. too. Or uh, okay, vertical, vertical, sorry. Okay, all right. No, no, no. no. That's... Uh, yeah. I, I, I just for some reason was remembering it. To be Dude, I, I do the same. I can never get horizontal and vertical straight. That's why Soul Calibur can be a problem for me. So <laughs> A and B. Horizontal's A and B is vertical. You got this, James. I believe in you. Oh, God. My cat but is... But yeah, I am, I am really hoping that it's affordable because it seems like it's coming out this year and your boy is broke. Yeah. And I'd really like to get one. <laughs> Yeah, but man, if it's like eight hundred dollars, I can't justify spending I'm, I'm that much. I'm about that because, like, what if my Microsoft's console appeals to me more, but like, you know, the FGC goes one way over the other, right? Kind of deal. That's the hard uh, part, right. right there. We have to figure out where. Were the you fire... guys disappointed that? Oh, go ahead, James. Sorry. No, I was just saying that's always the hardest part as commentators and 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 FGC. We have to know which side it goes. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's not really a big way of us knowing right now, considering no no fighting games were yeah. announced for it. Yeah, I was gonna say, were you guys disappointed that no fighting games were announced? No, I didn't I think there was going to be. Um, I thought there was going to be something. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like, you know how like uh, almost every console has that one like weird fighting game that's like clearly made by like an indie studio that's not meant to be anything big. It's just it's just supposed to be there because they needed the genre. Yeah, they yeah, needed yeah, a fighting yeah, yeah. game present. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but. I thought that was what was going to show up, right? But it just didn't exist at all. Um, yeah. Same thing with JRPGs. There was no JRPGs announced for the fucking console. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, uh, with you, I, I, like I said, for the fighting game one, I, I'm not, I, I wasn't, I mean, I heard, I read a rumor that there was supposed to be a Final Fantasy 16 for it, but it just got cut at the last second. A lot of people are thinking that uh, Project Alethia or whatever it's called, I, I keep forgetting. Oh, it, but, is Final um, Fantasy might 16. Be, might be that or whatever. Interesting. Um, but the reason why they think that is because there is one screenshot of the trailer that looks very similar to another screenshot from 15. And it's like, well, I mean, you know, they both got like trees and shit. Like, what, what do you offer me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a stretch. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's just what I saw, right? right? Like, I, I don't personally believe it by looking at it, uh, like, at all. I think, I think my, my takeaway as far as, like, what was shown, a lot of the games that were shown were not PS5 exclusive. No. Out, no outside they... of Spider-Man I, and Gran Turismo, I can't think of a game that's going to be a PS5 exclusive that I was like, I have to get this console. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that'll come up closer to its release you know once we have like an announcement date they're probably going to toss that sure. stuff was around. horizon on xbox one no okay no but yeah. i but I, mean, I said for me i'm not oh okay yeah, yeah. i yeah, mean yeah, I, yeah. it's it's one of those things where he was talking specifically about stuff that made him want to buy yeah, 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 yeah okay yeah, okay yeah. okay gotcha gotcha yeah because ratchet and clank is going to be an exclusive as well for sure so yeah that makes sense okay i think i think i think ratchet and clank is probably going to be on ps4 Oh, you, oh, on PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe. I, I, well, no, no, no. I think it'll be on both is what I'm saying. I wonder I, I, because... I, I, I can see that. I don't know I if they that. could do the, 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 the dimension transition as fast, right? Like, he would uh, be he would be falling uh, in that mid-zone for way longer, you know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I Because I, I don't understand, obviously, the, 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 the power of the hardware, right? Uh, so, like, I, I can't personally say. Dude. I just remember that the reboot, the reboot version of Ratchet & Clank was very technically impressive already. Right. Right? Did you... I don't know if you ever saw this video, but you played the, 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 the most recent Spider-Man game, right? Yeah. There was that scene... I have not. There's the one... Oh, you haven't? It's it's really good. It's really good. I I don't, I don't really like play games anymore, unfortunately. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, but the uh, there was one scene where you know you you 
Kingpin's men are fighting outside a building. You go there, you talk to the policeman or whatever like that, and then you bust into the building and then you start fighting him and there's no loading during that whole entire sequence. And there was actually a video that showed you how they did that, which Is literally... There, aren't they loading while you're busting into the ship? Well, like... it was even more than that. So they, you were playing in the city, you're fighting in the outside, and when it gets to the cutscene where you talk to the policeman, they actually angled it like he's hiding behind the cop car. So they use the cop car at a camera angle to block the background. And once they do that, they unload all the buildings in the background and start drawing everything inside the building like while you're talking to him. And yep. then when it transitions, over they make sure the cameras of the building that you bust into blocks the sides so you can't see the sides and then you get yeah. it. dude it's so crazy dude I, there, it, there's a lot of games that like try to mask how they yeah. load and unload like data into <laughs> stuff while you're doing other shit <laughs> every time I mean, like my friend my friend who worked on god of war you know told me that like you know he's like anytime you go into a game and you have to turn a crank or you have to do something like that to get to a yeah, new area. Loading. That's the loading right there. So a yeah. lot of times I'll play 3D games and like you have to crawl through like a pipe in a tunnel and then you get to the next area. And the only reason why they make you do that is so they can load the next area. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why like when 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 games are like yeah, there's no loading screens. It's yeah. that's not true. Right. It's like yeah, they're, 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 like it's I mean, an interactive loading screen. There's no mm -hmm. loading screen. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say like that. That's probably true. And you know what? There is loading. And that's all fucking Bandai Namco's fault, too. Or very, very early on. Very, very early on. Uh, one of the first games that they made on the PlayStation 1, they let you play Galaxians during a loading screen. And they patented that shit. And yep. uh, that's why none of the games ever since allowed you to play games during loading screens. Because they yep. patented that. And that's, that's why, why... That's why only Dragon Ball Extreme Butoden and random shit like that have... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, to, to go back to, to Spider Man and an example of how the power of the PlayStation 5, um, <laughs> they're, they're showing backwards compatibility. And in Spider Man 2018, you the way you fast travel is Spider Man takes a fucking subway like a New Yorker <laughs> because you can't get everywhere by spider webbing. So the way you fast travel in the game is. You get on the subway, you'll see, like, Spider-Man chilling out reading a newspaper. Yeah. And the cutscene takes, like, ten seconds or something. Like, it's, uh -huh. it's noticeably long, right? Uh -huh. Then they showed that, that that game running on PlayStation 5 for the backwards compatibility. Uh -huh. um, and the, the subway, they didn't even show them. They show them get on the subway and get off. Okay. Because oh, there, there, there is no load right. screen. So no, wait, no, 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 no. This was in-game. This is what they did. They, they, they used this as an example. Oh, Okay. Did I, I use it completely one? as an example. When no, no, was no, that no, shown? No, not, not for new Spider-Man. So PlayStation 5 is backwards compatible for PS4 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They took oh, PS4 okay. Spider-Man, they put it on, they played it on PlayStation 5, and they showed how fast travel had no more load screen whatsoever. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, they were showing how, so, how the so solid state. How much rocks. backwards compatibility? I, I knew that you were talking about the, 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 fir the first version of Spider-Man. I knew that you were talking about the old one. Oh, okay. I, okay. But, but I was, I was saying, I was saying that I think I, I must have missed that. But, oh, yeah. yeah they, we, they, we, they showed we, that off. Not, not, not today, but they showed it off. The like first time they revealed PS5, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well the thing is, is, like, we knew how solid state drives work. Like, yeah. it's yeah, like, but that, there's I, something special great. about there. The yeah, system. processing power is there for sure. Yeah. What, whatever. Whatever the fuck. Now, it's now, probably uh, just a standard. Do, do, how, well, how backwards compatible is this console supposed to be? So, so they, they said specifically that they were starting out with some of the the highest most played games uh -huh. to start. And then they were going to add more as time went on, or some shit. Is it supposed well, to go I, all I, the way back to three, two, and one, or? PS so I, I, I read, I read more into that after they had their their original presser. Uh -huh. Okay. And they said that they misspoke. Oh God, oh. I don't like. No, that. no, it, it's it's a good misspoke. Okay. Okay. So what they when when they said like the like a hundred or so mo the most popular games for PS4 will be backwards compatible with PS5, what they meant was. It'll be backwards compatible with PS5 on launch with the updated load times and things like that with okay. the with the new console. Oh, However, games. right. However, if you put a PS4 disc into the console, it should work natively. Oh. And they said that some games are going to have bugs and things like that, kind of like right. how an Xbox 360 yeah. is adding yeah, 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 backwards yeah. compatibility. Um, so they said there might be bugs and kinks and some games might not work. However, 
the the PS4 library should work, but they okay. have not mentioned PS3, PS2, or PS4. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I am expecting of the bugs when putting an old hardware's game into a new hardware. Like, yeah. I, it, it just makes fucking sense to me. There's a reason yeah. why we don't run, like, some old games with uh, on PC without using, like, either a compatibility mode or some right. sort of mod, right? I mean, like it's... the only reason why a lot of other consoles, like the Wii U, are backwards compatible, because it was literally the same hardware, and, like, yeah, in the yeah, PlayStation... The PlayStation 3 that had the backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 2 is because the PlayStation 2 hardware was literally in the it thing. Was inside the yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had a PS2 inside yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly what Shayon said in, in the chat. They confirmed 4,000 plus of PS4 titles will be backwards compatible. 100 plus of them will be enhanced. Mm, yeah, okay, gotcha. Because, okay. I mean, like, if I could play my old PS2 games on that shit, dude, oh, God. Yeah, that's that's what I'm always worried about is whether or not I can play PS2 or PS1 games. I I'm just I was just concerned if I could play my PS4 fighting games. Like I yeah, don't yeah. you know, I don't yeah. want to have two consoles if I don't have to. Right. No, but like I mean that that pretty much confirms that you can, which is really nice because yeah, that would also be able to get rid of a lot of these like really annoying loading times like Brand for, new. for example, yeah, I was I was going <laughs> to the exact same fucking thing. I was going to mention the exact same fucking thing. <laughs> Oh man, that's was, funny. Was Grand Blue training mode? Oh yeah, I want to train against a different character than the one I picked originally. Well, that's a twenty million year load. <laughs> hey, I play on PC. I don't experience that. I mean, I have it on both, but when when we first got it, it was only on PS4. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I so, had the PS4 version as well, but so, nowadays so I, I, I ran into that <laughs> issue and I was just like, please. Yeah, the most times are gross. It turned out. It turned out if you just go back to character select, it's actually faster. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's faster than switching the character. Oh, it sucks. It, it just didn't make any sense to me because Ar Arxis had put out three or four other games with this feature. Right. And it never took that long for those <laughs> games. Dude, the best one is still Undernight. Like, it, like, the load is just, like, ridiculous. I don't know how it's so fast, but it's ridiculous. But, oh, I yeah. Mean, Undernight's not the prettiest game either, though. Yeah, I guess that's it's true. It's all work. And, I mean, that's indicative of uh, another Arxis game where it had uh, that same thing happen in uh, Blaze Blue CP. Mm -hmm. um, that had easily the fastest rematch screen I've ever seen in a fighting game, to the, even still to this day. <laughs> um, but that's because they took away all the they took away all the accoutrements, yeah. right? They, they literally just put in a, would you like to rematch? Yeah, right. There's, uh -huh. no, like, there's no, like, windscreen. Right. Like, it's, just, it's just rematch, right? And then you're just fucking in the game. By the like, way, uh, I, one thing I just totally want to say that's completely random, because we were talking about the price point earlier. Uh, yeah. Don't also forget that because we're commentators, we can write that shit off. So just just make I mean, sure, yeah. just make sure you know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, also if you're partnered on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. if you're true, true, on true, Twitch, true, you can true. Write it off yep, yep. Bro, can I just get them to send me a PS5? <laughs> no, Dude, probably man, not. I wish I had that type of fucking pull. No, probably not. But still, no, I, I understand. That's why I fucking laughed. <laughs> you, you know who could, probably could get a PS5. The world Tetris commentating <laughs> champion of the world, of James Chen. Oh fuck, dude! <laughs> dude, if there, if there was a Tetris announce, if there was a Tetris announce for PS5, you're telling me you couldn't have pulled some strings with the Tetris team or whatever? Dude, you're tell me right now that there's not going to be a Tetris announce for PS5 eventually. Do you know? Do you know yeah. how? Do you know how grassroots this Tetris community is, dude? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I, I do. I do actually. <laughs> No, nah, that's not true. You're a fucking liar. You want to know why? Because one of the Tetris people was at for the Retro Gaming Expo during the championships. That's I was right. there, James. It was I the was creator. There. It was the creator of freaking Tetris, dude. Okay, well, there you go. The man so. who basically never made any money off of the game, dude. Poor guy, dude. He did. Didn't he end up getting royalties? And stuff? He did. He did because of Hank Rogers eventually. Okay. But everyone stole the game from him. I mean, it's a great story. It's it's like a it's a really wonderful story. Uh, but like. That's yeah, why Hank Rogers story of him losing all of his money. Well, yeah, I mean, so. that's why Hank Rogers became the president of the of the Tetris company and you know, now as I've talked about in the past, Maya Rogers his daughter is the is the CEO now, so uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh, who your best personal friends with? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 I, that's, that's, that's your home girl. One right? of these like, days if I could meet her, dude, that'd be great, dude. That'd be awesome. One of these days. One of these days. <laughs> I bet you if you tweeted at her, she'd be like, yeah, let's meet. That's how you meet your wife. This is destiny. James, you should be dating the CEO of the Tetris <laughs> Company, whoever the fuck they are. I don't even know the name. I'm assuming it's called the Tetris Company. You need to be dating this woman. Oh, my God. 
This is your destiny, James. Tetris was what you were made for. Dude, if, it. if it ever went in that your direction, moment. dude, like, Tetris would be, like, no wonder I think it's the best video game ever made in the, in the world. Whoops, I brought up the Korra list again. Uh, Everything, you gotta, you gotta watch that Korra, guys. Yeah, you gotta watch the Korra. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's also, Shayon brings up another good point. What about Guilty Gear? How does it look now? Because the game got delayed a little bit, okay. which is, is fine with me. But is it going to be on PS5 as well now? That, you probably. There's a really good chance that we, it'll be on both consoles. Yeah, yeah. probably. It'll so probably then be what do we end up playing on, guys? Like, uh, are we PS4 like boys? Would, are we PS5 boys? What are I we feel playing like on? It would probably be PS5 since it's backwards compatible anyway, right? Like. <laughs> yeah, but I would assume that the PS4 players can't play against the PS5 players. Uh, Remember that, when PS3 versus PS4? Um, that 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 actually uh, was something that could happen in BlazBlue. BlazBlue had the cross compatibility with two. Oh, uh, did it? Two consoles. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, didn't even Guilty Gear do that? I think Guilty Gear. Exert, Exert, Exert did. did. That. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking. I, I know Exert had it at first, but then like the second iteration of Exert. They got rid Did of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, they're, they're uh, trying uh, to, they, at, at that point, PS4 was, like, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Fan, right. PS3 was, like, under, you know, so it makes sense to me. But, uh, yeah, 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 so they've had the cross-compatibility between consoles of the same type before. Um, and, again, usually the reason why most games don't have cross-compatibility is either due to Japanese company or because Sony doesn't want you to. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's uh, interesting because, like, uh, you know, one of the reasons why Rock Band died is because when they came out with Rock Band on the next gen consoles, they had to create the things that let you use all your old instruments on the new one, and so no one bought any new instruments. You know, <laughs> uh, I, there, there's there's a lot more reasons for that, James. As a big Rock Band head, I can uh, I can give you a number of them. Oh really? Of the market. You're a big uh, Rock uh, Band head, huh? So, so uh, yeah, yeah. Because um, like that's, that's the, the only reason why. Trash. That's the only reason why I still have an Xbox One, is because I had all of my Rock Band shit on 360, and I had to port it over to Xbox One. So I love yeah, Rock I Band. Did, I did a lot of uh, Rock Band stuff before I played Smash. Actually, mm, um, okay. I, uh, I I think I still have some like scores uploaded on Score Hero and shit. But, nice. I had no idea. Uh, That's awesome. Good shit. But uh, um, yeah, there, there was a lot more going on with Rock Band and, and Guitar Hero uh, that, that, like, ruined that shit. But what I want to say about ruined it is it didn't actually ruin it because Rock Band is still getting DLC songs to this day. Yeah, no, it is. I follow them on, on, on Twitter, so I get all the updates all the time. Doesn't Mad Cats own Rock Band now? They um, Mad Cats was the the proprietary um, hardware uh, publisher, creator. yeah, and and they eventually became the publisher for four. Okay, uh, just for four though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, gotcha. not the other ones, but Mad Cats even before that was still the people who made the hardware for those ones. Um, in fact, one of the reasons why Mad Cats went under was they bet the yep. farm on making Rock Band mm -hmm. you know, hardware. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for the company, and so. that's why they died. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Dude, I mean, not not to mention their arcade sticks went to shit for a PS4, Xbox One era. Oh, the T2s. Dude, they they are trash. They are not good sticks. Mm -hmm. I, even I, Mark Man, even Mark Man was trying to tell you like, yeah, we fucked up on those. <laughs> I, still, I still have a T1. I still have a T1. Dude, that's the, that's the stick I play on. I got this boy. Yeah, like, I completely forgot about that. Because remember how I was talking about trying to play Killer Instinct on my PC? And I was like, my Xbox One controller doesn't work. Dude, all the fucking Xbox 360 controllers work. And I can still bust out a bunch of those because they're still, like, in such good quality. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, man. So good. I, I, I have a brick cord in my stick, so I can just play it on whatever. The oh, I can nice. Put it on a okay. Switch if I want to. Yeah, yeah, I actually need to get... Which I have done. <laughs> BB, I remember B, there was a, there was one week where BB Tag uh, got its DLC on Switch before uh, the other consoles, and this was the only time this had ever happened. So I was like, "All right, sick! I'm plugging my stick in." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Well. Uh, actually, that's another thing I'm wondering about PS5s: is how are we gonna do Arcade Six? Is Brickboard gonna get updated, or is or are they gonna have to come out with new converters? This, 
This boy. He well, plugged that USB in. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. What I'm saying is, is, are they gonna have to make a new converter, or can that converter be updated? Because so far, luckily, the converters have been oh, able to be updated, there. right? But will they need to, to what... instead just make a whole new one? They'll probably I have mean, to make a whole it, new one. Yeah, I'll say they'll probably make a whole new one, and they'd be smart to make a whole new one. Yeah. So the, the, the reason why I ask is because they actually retroactively added the switch onto the Burp port. The, the, sw the switch compatibility didn't exist until uh, post launch. Oh, um, really? And I, I updated my Brookboard to get huh. the ability to work on Switch. Interesting. Huh, maybe. Cool. Maybe yeah, then. Yeah. Well, that... I always use the USB ones because fuck. Oh, totally. You know, doing all that shit, so. I will have to be buying a new one, but they're like 50 bucks. It's more than worth it for me. <laughs> they're, they're so fucking inexpensive. <laughs> Dude, they're inexpensive. You know what's wild to me about the like the Brooks USB converters? Is I remember speaking to like Ducky and Clayton and all these modders. And I would like, I would ask them, like, guys, why don't you just create like a USB thing you plug in and it makes the stick compatible? Uh -huh. And they straight up told me it's not possible. And then like <laughs> two, three years later, Brooks is putting out for right. every fucking console in history imaginable. They have one yeah. for like, fucking Dreamcast you now. I should have been honest and said, you didn't know how. You have to, that it wasn't possible. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, I missed out on that. By the way, like. since I do have a Brook converter for my Xbox One now, and I've tested it, works with my PS3 stick and everything like that, uh, and PS4 sticks and stuff. Um, yeah. You know, uh, you're gonna have to. When 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 the three of us gonna sit down and do the generation spacing killer instinct matches here, <laughs> dude? I mean, we can do it whatever. whatever. I can plug in my stick at any point. Any <laughs> I mean, we can do like a special weekend thing too, so we're not yeah. constrained to late late nights. And I can actually like, I mean, well, Isaiah kind of knows the game probably better than you do because he played it competitively for. Well, I mean, but... like I fucking commentated the game, right? I mean, like I. I hey, so... he's he's commentated more killer instinct matches than I. Oh, have, so... oh, I forgot, I forgot to bring this up earlier. Guess who has two thumbs and beat a combo breaker champ online and ranked match today in fucking KI? This guy. Uh, 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 it was. It was. Uh, uh, it was. It was uh, Ultra David, right? Ultra David, right? So. I beat. I beat Valorax's ass today. <laughs> He can it's hold that shit playing, forever. It's because you're playing cheap ass rash, bro. Like broken ass fucking crazy. To be character. fair. To be fair, he was playing ROM, so he's playing his alt character. And also, to be fair, he treated me like I was a top player and respected me way too much. Oh. Uh, way <laughs> too much. Yeah, yeah, Rom okay, gotcha, gotcha. Fuck. Like, uh, ROM is such a cool character. Dude. ROM is, dude, there, I, I don't feel like there's a boring character in KI. Even Jago is mad interesting. Uh, yeah, I played a lot of Jago, actually, because I had the free version of KI, so I was just sure. I learned. <laughs> oh, I mean, man. fake fireball, wind kick. Like, yeah, that, that character is super cool. Overhead. Overhead that can convert, unlike Ryu. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Ryu. Also does it with one crouches, you know? Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Ryu, dude. Force that... is standing, works on crouches. Thanks, DJ. Yeah. But yeah, fucking... Um, we should, I mean, I'm down to, like, we can do, yeah. like, a stream this weekend. I, I'm busy Saturday. I'll be with the lady, I but... Also, I'm busy Saturday. I have a charity. Game. Sunday, I mean, I'm totally down Sunday. Sunday, gonna, Sunday I'm going to try to be doing... Sunday, I'm going to be trying to do a, uh, uh, one of those beginner tournaments again, so... I'm not going to be Motherfucker. free. Motherfucker. Well, I'm we like, need a plan. Like have to do these one-on-one these, these -on -one or something. Like, right. this is what it sounds like. Well, maybe tomorrow night, then. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have plans tomorrow night, but that could change. Okay. Oh, that's right. You're not doing uh, the stream tomorrow, uh, James. Uh, and neither am I. So uh, I guess you are free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I think about it. Actually, that's true. I might want to watch it, to be honest with you. So, because. Which stream are you guys talking about? Uh, uh, Bud Light Beer League. So, oh. Caliber. Oh, okay. Well, are you neither of you right. commentating? Not yes, tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. Right there, Bud Light. Oh, my God. Oh, sick. They gave you one of those chairs. <laughs> yeah. I have yeah. one, too, onto the side. And uh, my cat is using it all the time. Jasmine uses it all the time now. So um. what's it? What's it like? What's it like to be real esports uh, famous guys? Because I I don't I have my <laughs> IKEA chair. I don't have Bud Light on my chair. Oh my god. Hey, uh, you know it's just uh, it's just nice that uh, you know that that us black people are finally getting something. <laughs> so, uh... Yo, <laughs> damn. All right. <laughs> I have literally no response for Brandon other than just, like, I, I tried to think of something. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I understand fuck. that. Like, I, don't, I don't have a response. I'm, I got bodied. I'm done. I, I understand <laughs> that I'm, like, higher on the rung, and it's, like, that's just how it is. Like, I, I get opportunities afforded to me with the commentary that other people don't. That's fire. That's funny. 
Anyways, I'm I'm actually getting a little tired here, so I'm oh, gonna. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah go to well, sleep then, you. Bump. Well, so no, but see, here's the thing. That's the problem. Is doesn't matter how tired I am. I will lie in bed and then I get fucking hit by restless yeah. legs and I can't fall asleep. Like that's yep. insomnia, dude. I that's know this. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I definitely understand that. <sighs> Anyways, I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, just call it then for 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 today for tonight. So yeah, it was a long stream. We've been yeah. doing this for almost four hours. Yeah, that's but it's one good. Of our longer ones. Good. I hope people enjoy it though. I hope people are having a good time and everything. So. Hell yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well see you next week guys <laughs> yeah. yeah and I'm going to grab a little food myself before I go to sleep and stuff like that so alright but uh hope you guys uh magnesium magnesium okay uh, how does that work magnesium for restless legs alright I'm looking so, that up so basically, it's basically like taking a vitamin okay yeah. okay I'm definitely going to yeah. look that up now then so Definitely look that up. See if that helps. I'm going to fucking take a melatonin tonight. I don't care what the hell my mom says. So, you know. James, you're 44 years old. I think you let dude, your mom know. Dude, dude, dude. I'm also fucking Asian, okay? I, I'm aware. I'm aware of the cultural Hold thing, your right? Hold I'm your always, white privilege, unaware. okay? Hold your white privilege here. <laughs> oh, man. Facts. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You haven't you haven't seen the scary Asian moms, dude. You, I mean, like when she tells me like, please don't do this, and I'm like, she doesn't even have to be mean about it, but it's just like, fuck, I have to listen to it, dude. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> James, just don't worry about the brain hemorrhaging. Don't worry about the kidney failure. <laughs> just, uh, Cause just take the melatonin, buddy. Uh, God, fucking yeah, exactly. Okay, anyways. Uh, I don't even. Alright, guys, I this has uh, been a good episode. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. Since James can't seem to end it, I'll go ahead and give us the outro. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know, tune in sure next to, week. Uh, yep. Yeah, tune in next week for more generation spacing. We do this at 9 p.m. PST. Uh, time conversion, uh, Brandon. Uh, 11 p.m. Central, 12 right. midnight on East Coast. Cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you, human calculator. All right. (laughs) Take care, you guys. Have a good night. Later, guys.